Good evening, race, fan, race fans, even. I'll try to put my teeth back in. I'll start that again, Alan. I'll cut that bit out, right? And when we, okay. do, when we do it for real, I won't do that again. Uh, good evening, race fans, and welcome to BS TV. Uh, you've joined us for the TCR Challenge Cup. This is season 16. 16 seasons, Alan. Oh, dear. Um, it's week three. We're at Donington Park. Uh, Wobbly's favourite track, it says on the screen, so it must be true, Alan. Um, it's, it's early in the morning here. Um, and it's uh, a 20 degree track. I'm Pete Bingham and I'm joined in the booth by Sir Alan Toon. Good evening. Good evening, Peter. Good evening, everybody. Oh, I'm excited to be here. I love this place. Yes, it's one of the one of the best tracks on the planet. Just don't listen to Wobbly. Um, so, uh, yeah, back at Donington. Always a pleasure to, to race here. Uh, we are early in the morning. It's the national version of the circuit. So none of the... Um, the, the hairpin, the Melbourne hairpin that uh, disappears off w what would be at the top of your screen, um, where that chicane is. Um, it's the shorter version. It's a, quite a dynamic track, um, and it's always uh, 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 an interesting race here at this classic circuit. Uh, right, so um, you saw uh, on the intro, folks, that uh, V8 ESC will be returning to your either screens or rigs. Um, in the not too distant future, uh, we're, we are uh, launching it in um, in alignment with season three launching um, in the iRacing world. Uh, there is a reason for that. Um, but uh, yeah, you saw the uh, promo video for that. That promo video will change as dates become more solid um, and we will be progressing with that. But this is TCR's. Um, we have um, about nine minutes uh, before qualifying starts. Um, at the minute, Pete Newman is top of the pile, but there's some races to call out, Alan. Um, we have got uh, this boy, who is new to us. Um, he's in the council colours at the minute. Um, he will have a, uh, a race a livery eventually. Um, and he is uh, Anthony Hilton. Um, and he races for Mellow Motorsport. So uh, a massive welcome to him. He's going to be in the AM category, Alan. Welcome, Anthony, and uh, yeah. yes, um, join the family and uh, settle down, pull up a chair to the table and enjoy yourself. You're in a friendly place. Yeah, he is, and um, he, he's not slow either. He's um, slowly making his way up the up the standings at the moment. Um, he's 26th at the moment. There's 30 races in tonight. That seems to be the magic number, and this series is holding that number very, very well. Um, and that is remarkable, really. Um, you know, TCRs, they're not the most popular car on the iRacing network at the minute. They've got a core of hard, hardcore fans um, and, and people that want to race it. Um, and, you know, to get this many in is, is it's a very rewarding thing for, for me as a, as a league runner um, or organiser. And, um, and for both of us, really, Alan, isn't it? For, for broadcasters. Um, uh, you, you, know. you know, I mean, I'm here because I'm a fan. Yeah, I, and uh, I was uh, watching and enjoying these guys racing uh, a long while before I ever sat in the box and had the honour of joining you in the box. Yeah, uh, it's because they're fantastic drivers. They they race proper, and uh, yeah, it, it, it's a credit to you and I think to Backfire that uh, these people keep coming back here, and uh, you've got such a core of great, superb people. Mm. Not just drivers, but friends, you know, comrades. Yeah, and, yeah. And friendships forged over time. Which, yeah. You know, the that takes time. Yeah, the community feel is very, very strong in TCRs as it is in the V8s. I mean, those V8 guys, they've been racing together now for something like seven years. Um, and, you know, they have the bust-ups, they have the crashes on track, they, they dust themselves off, they have a bit of an argument, a few single syllable words exchange every so often and then they're back racing again the next week and everything's forgotten and that's the kind of you know behavior set you need isn't it it's very uh, and they learn from one another as well um we've got a couple of drivers returning to us here's the first one fiona's back yay yay not, not, <laughs> worn out her drum <laughs> yeah yeah new skin needed on the drum um but yeah sheffield uh, steelers um, they did very well pete they did I was yeah, yes. I, I was looking at it earlier today. Um, they've done remarkably well, actually. 
Um, she shoved the bits, and of course, she's threatening to go abroad and drum those people. Oh, there. right, okay. Because yeah. they've, got, they've got some entry to some international competition. Oh, right, okay. Well, that's even even more than I knew uh, before this evening, so that's very good. Yeah. Um, right, what else do we need to talk about? Uh, thankfully, Mr. Wilson's with us, Jamie, uh, Jamie Wilson. Mm. Um, still uh, sporting that Asthma and Lung UK uh, livery for if anybody, yeah. um, you know, wants to donate or anything like that um, then that's available I'm not going to make too much of a, of a noise about it because he doesn't really want me to that much um, where is Mr. Jay Corley um, he's parked up at the minute um, not sure oh. why but you will notice he's no longer in the Pro-Am colours uh, Pro-Am cars have got <laughs> green banners this boy is now in blue banners because he's been moved up to Pro Um well, I'll explain why in a minute. When we see the league, you'll understand it. And the other one, is he in the pit lane? He's in there somewhere, bless him. Um, it's Loic Penalt. He is no longer spotting the AM category banner. He is in the Pro-AM now. So everybody moves up, um, for those two anyway. And Anthony Hilton, who we saw on track a minute ago doing his laps, uh, moves in to the Pro-AM. Uh, so uh, structure is looking good. So let's talk about that. Uh, let's talk about standings when I can find the thing. Uh, right, so in the AM category, we're going to work our way up this week so we can give some time to uh, this category. So Loix popped off the top. He had nearly double the points of uh, the others, uh, which means that Jason Kiley Haddington uh, takes the top spot. Um, he is leading the AM category with David Ayres in second and Matt Flannery in third. Uh, Anthony Hilton not turned the lap in anger yet, and he's fourth. Um, and then Fiona, of course, um, alphabetically behind uh, Anthony. That's got be a better first. Yeah. balanced look, I think. I think Pete. it does as well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we had long discussions um, in the background on it um, over last weekend uh, and even up to uh, this morning, um, but the decision has been made. So let's have a look at Pro-Am now as uh, everybody moves upwards. Uh, you can see where Loic has <laughs> ended up in this one. Um, so Carl Hardy currently heads up Pro-Am uh, Russell Cowell in second not very far behind him at all uh, only 12 points adrift uh, Roger Morton not, not that far behind as well and then Loic is uh, already in fourth place with, with his points fantastic. Well, that, it just shows you how well he's been doing doesn't it it really does yeah he's, um, he, he's proven that he's a very reliable um, and uh, quite fast driver um, now we'll have a quick look. And Tony Walker rounds out the top five there. Uh, Davey D's probably on the chat somewhere, so uh, he'll be interested to note that Kevin Daniels is in uh, sixth at the moment. So uh, I think a, a, a prep talk along along the lines that Wobbly gives me uh, for Kevin Davey, uh, something like uh, it's the pedal on the right, mate, or something like that. Um, and then we'll move into the pro category. Uh, and Spencer McCarthy has wrestled the lead of the championship away from Wobbly um, after week two's uh, points haul. Um, but there's nothing in it. Only five points. We're on the, the column on the left here. Um, one point um, would be the lead that Wobbly would have if we were in the right-hand column with a drop, drop score, but we're not focused on that right now. Uh, and Miguel Freitas, if you, if for the for the wise of those watching, he may only be in third on the left hand column, but he is actually leading in the right hand column. But shh, don't tell anybody else. Uh, and then Pete Newman in fourth, and Sam Blees, our current reigning champion, multiple previous champion, um, in fifth at the moment. Had a bit of a rough couple of weeks, Alan. Yes, uh, unusual for Sam, but you know, he's, he's undaunted, and uh, you can't write the guy off. That's for sure. No, definitely not. And then Jay Corley, uh, freshly into pro, um, in sixth place there, threatening the top five already. So I think those moves were appropriate. And what are they fighting for? They're fighting... Uh, are you steady? Are you steady? Uh, they're oh, fighting no, the... for yeah. this. Yes. It's... I have to get a grip on my steering wheel. I know, yeah. yeah. I've had to have a drink of my beer because, you know, you have to calm yourself when you see it, don't you? It's magnificent. I'm shaking, Pete. Honestly, shaking. Yeah, don't shake too much. It might fall over. <laughs> um, uh, it's well, I might spill a drop in my skull. that drum. It, yeah, season 16 trophy. Season 15's trophy went to Sam Blees. Um, he, he's actually quite impressed with it, which is remarkable because it's uh, no, no, no expense was spent on it uh, at all. Um, but... <laughs> Uh, it's there for anybody to 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 take away. Um, and it's symbolically, melt. it's symbolism in in action. It is, it is, yeah. 
Uh, and then uh, certificates for everybody else. Um, we've, we've had a few awarded last season. Uh, there will be just as many this season. Um, I found them a bit skiddy on my bottom. Well, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right then. And um, whilst we're on this little segment, uh, and we've just tripped over into qualifying in the race, um, so there's not much to see at the moment other than Pete Newman set the best qualifying, uh, practice time on a 111.12 uh, at the same uh, same time, actually, as Sam Bleed. He's flying, isn't yeah, he? He's coming to these he? cars, honestly. Yeah. He's absolutely flying. He's so, loving it, I think. I think uh, it's just oh, yeah. the, the quality of the competition and the whole atmosphere of the league. I think it's just appealing to him, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And this SRL uh, league for TCRs um, has already launched. Alton Park has been and gone. Um, you can see that on the... Um, on the SRL uh, YouTube channel, which I will uh, post into the, the comments on this one uh, after we've finished tonight. Uh, there's two races left in that. The, the league is full for SRL. Uh, I will point that out. You can't join at the minute. Um, the, their league is uh, currently full, but when it launches for the full league, because this is, this is just the free uh, three weeks that lead to it, when it's the full league, um, you will then be able to um, uh, you know, apply for registration for that one. Um, but back to ours for now. Um, and if I can find the right thing, so you're not whoops, looking at a blank screen. There we go. Um, we are now in qualifying. So uh, I need to do this instead. There we go. Um, right, so nobody's posted a time yet. Uh, obviously, they're all on their outlaps. Uh, That's a lot of view of the track. It's great to see this place. I know, yeah. It's my local track, of course, so yeah, I'm yeah. completely biased. It's only just up the road. And, uh, Have you I've been spent to... many happy hours Oh, here. good, right. I was going to ask that, yeah. Uh, we're going to go on board with a uh, with, with the leader at the minute of the championship, which is Spencer McCarthy. He's getting towed around here uh, by... I don't know who that is, actually, in front. We'll find out when they cross the line now. Uh, or maybe not this lap, because this is an outlap, isn't it? Right, we're chasing someone, and it's pro um so it might be Loic or Remy. Uh, Remy Malaberti is also in that Boots and VDS by undercut. So, turn one, uh, we've already done that one. Uh, usually second gear, maybe third gear if you're carrying enough uh, speed. Uh, these are the Craner curves, easy to lose the front end and go uh, drifting off into the weeds on the right. And then this is probably the most challenging uh, corner on the track, the old hairpin. Uh, fourth gear if you do it right and you've got plenty of grip. Um, this is Starkey's that we're going up here. Um, again, you're just building speed, really, and then heavy on the brakes from McLean's, uh, which is this right hand here, third gear. Uh, plenty of curb on both sides. Both sides are quite generous and forgiving. Uh, Coppice is at the top of the hill here. Again, third gear. Uh, oh, second. He wants to get a good Thanks. launch out of it. Yeah. And then uh, onto Starkey's straight. <clears throat> um, he's getting his tyres warm, so that wasn't even a lap in, in, a, in, in anger, Alan. Um, and then we head down here into the um, chicane, which does have Beautiful. a name, I think. I can't remember. Um, Chicane's and, <laughs> gorgeous, isn't it? It is. It's brilliant. It makes this lap, I think. It's just fantastic. What a great entry back onto the main street. Yeah, and um, one thing that is synonymous with this track and this league, uh, and we'll go down in the annals of history here, um, is what happened uh, in uh, a previous TCR Challenge season. When uh, Wobbly was leading the race, uh, was doing a bit of celebrating and got pipped at the line by Chris Shaw um, by 0 0.01 of a second um, and lost the race. That's a bit of a tight margin, that one, Peter. Yeah. Goodness. <laughs> I, I tell you what, it took me a week to stop laughing. Um, it was, it was an Indeed. epic event. Epic event. That's amazing. Uh, right, so... Um, let's see where everybody lines up. Uh, no sound could be me, but worth a check. Could be me, but worth a check. Uh, no, it's definitely you. Uh, no, it's definitely you. Uh, no, definitely you. Uh, no, definitely you. Uh, no, definitely you. Uh, yeah, a bit echoey, mine, but never mind. Maybe that's just my microphone that's picking it up in the background. Uh, do you want to speak, Alan? I'll see if you're coming through. Oh, I don't know. I've got nothing don't to know. say because I'm absolutely entranced by this uh, battle for prominence. Yeah. In the first, because the first race, as you know, the qualification is absolutely vital. Yeah. You don't want to be anywhere past the second row of the grid. No. Because they go flying off there and they take some catching. 
Yeah, and uh, very, very um, good initial laps here from Remy Malaberti, um, who I don't know if he's got toe. He kind of has toe, and he kind of has toe from Wobbly. Um, he's got Jamie Jeffrey um, closing in on him. Let me get a camera oh, that's a Jamie, little bit no, further away. That's more like Jamie. Yes, he yeah, didn't have a great week last week, did he? No, um, no, he, uh, yeah, we missed him because he was he, yeah. he was seemingly quite out of place and out of sorts. But he's, here he is, and uh, this is kind of much more we, the way we know he can drive. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's certainly impressed me and you a lot, hasn't he? Because uh, yeah. in his these last two seasons, he's coming here and clicked, and it's uh, really great. Uh, There's a piece there with that really uh, swift lap. I mean, uh, look at that. this is a uh, great driving. Yeah, he's doing, and, uh, yeah. oh. he's doing Wobbly a favour here because he's turning him round, and Wobbly's got the second fastest time as a result. Um, Jamie Jeffrey has just posted the third fastest time. Now, Jamie will have done a mazillion laps in the real world around Donington, uh, being uh, a real world racer. So, uh, yes, going to have been on his schedule regularly. Yes, and, without uh, a doubt. He will know it inside out, every yeah. gravelly bit. Yeah. yeah, he's going to have to affect an overtake um, on Remy Malaberti here. Oh, Remy's got out of the way, so that was probably um, a very sensible piece of driving there from Remy. He's now got himself a really nice toe for the next lap, if he can stay with Jamie. Um, wow, but look at that. Look at the way Jamie's pulled away already. Uh, on, yeah, I think that's. Get in there. Yeah, I think a lot of that was Remy um, be, giving him plenty generous. of room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Remy's in fourth at the minute. Good grief. He's it was in fourth. Peace. Was in fourth. Sam Blees has uh, just risen to the top of the pile. Goodness, well, there you go. Yeah. The cream always rises to the top. Well, yes, it does. Uh, Anthony Hilton yet to. Is he on track? Yes. Yeah, he's not posted a time. He's not done a full lap yet. Um, so this will be his full lap. David Ayres, where did that come from? Um, 21st, ahead of Carl Hardy. That's not going to impress Carl, is it? Good grief. Oh, well, uh, Mark Dre from Fantastic lap, David. Absolutely brilliant. Come on. Uh, I think Mark Draper, me, Mark Draper and Jay Corley are picking up incidents on their laps, which is why they're still uh, malingering down in yes. 23rd and 24th. Easily done their own cold tyres, fresh out of the pits. And especially around here, there's a few places, like Old Hairpin, for instance, you can pick them up on both sides of the track at that point. Uh, so you're damned if you do and damned if you don't uh, take curb um, at Old Hairpin. How's Russell doing? Russell, 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 where are you? Where is he? Scrolling, scrolling, there he is, 15th. Uh, on a hot lap now, uh, he's, he's had a few incidents along the way, so I don't think he's recorded a truly representative time as Jamie Jeffrey slots it into second that's nice yes uh, Remy <laughs> Remy needs to stay exactly where he is because Remy is getting the mother of all toes uh, behind um, Jamie Jeffrey at the moment it's a uh, lot of action Whoa. at the top though isn't it and there's nothing static about that uh, leaderboard at the moment no I don't know what's just happened to uh, Dan Mould's paint oh is it because he's in the Civic was he supposed to be in the Civic just a minute give me a minute uh, da, 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 Dan ah uh, he was supposed to be in the Veloster that's why he's got no paint so uh, I think he's just uh, taken a 200 point um, penalty there uh, for switching cars. I don't think he'll be bothered about that. I don't think he can do all of the races in the season because he's got the SRL League to, to run, uh, which I discussed um, a little bit earlier. Jamie Wilson getting out of that little train of cars because uh, it wasn't helping his cause. Um, and Dan Mould coming around to uh, do some uh, destruction on this league table, flashing his lights to get everybody out of his way. Light. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind it in qualifying because other people aren't on hot laps, so you're telling them yeah. I am on one. Uh, it's in the race that I, I get offended by it. Um, right, lots of people moving about. Roman Malaberti moving up again. Stefan Gobel, you legend. So he's risen to the top of the Pro-Ams, uh, 11th. Jay Corley needs to sort his stuff out. Oh, there we go. 14th, as I spoke, Alan. That was uh, fortuitous, wasn't it? There you go. Yeah. That's your commentator's instinct coming through, Pete, there. Yeah, it is. Um, 
Who's your money on, Alan, if you were to? Or is it too much of a gamble? Well, no, I, I'm not a gambling kind of person. I'm not really much for speculation, but uh, I'm glad to say that it could be anyone who's in that top ten position. Yeah. I can, any of those people could drop in a fast one. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's delicious. Mark Draper, now look at that. Yeah, oh, he's in the pits at the minute, so I don't think he's going to yeah, improve. Yeah, I know, but that's a cracking lap. Isn't it just? Walked, I mean, they've only been out there a few minutes, and he's he's put in a cracker. Yeah. Have we got a curve yeah, And so for Dam, and Dam's done a, a, a really cracking lap as well. These are Dam Mould, yeah. Yeah. He's also in the pits at the minute in a, in a Civic instead of while a he's, lost Yeah, up. I mean, you can see why he would take a 200-point 200, 200 drop, but he's not going to yeah. do the whole season, and you might as well drive the car that you're going to enjoy the And most. that's part of it, isn't it? Yeah, do do what you want, if you know what I mean. Do do what feels right. Um, I don't think we've got a curb cam around this track. No, we don't. He's certainly demonstrated that he can hustle that Civic. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right, uh, who is next? So, Pete Newman starting to float back to the surface again. Um, he's giving uh, Miguel a bit of a toe at the minute. Um, and Fiona might well benefit here because she's got a toe from uh, Miguel. Yes, come on, Pete. <laughs> Although I That's think... a great piece of toe. It's very hard to keep hold of Miguel, though, isn't yeah, it? Let's it face is. it. Yeah, very much so. Certainly beyond me. I get the feeling that, looking at her sector times, that she had to get out of the way of Miguel on that lap. So I don't think that's going to work as Jamie Jeffrey pulls off into pit road. So for those of you new to watching, this is going to be uh, coming up after this 15 minutes of qualifying, a 20-minute race. And they're on 35% fuel, uh, which means they do not need to pit in the first race. Um, we'll have a five-minute intermission, um, and then we'll do a 40-minute feature race where they will need to pit. Um, this is a track where you use high levels of fuel. I don't think you can fuel save it to a no stop. Certain tracks you can. I don't think this is one of them. Um, this is a high velocity circuit with lots of heavy acceleration and uphill sections. So I think you'd struggle to save enough fuel. Some, yes, but not enough. It wouldn't be fun racing this place if you had to do really serious fuel saving. Uh, no, and uh, I should point out, Alan, Big Mig has just taken the top spot. Well, exactly. Now you want to you see? <laughs> was it, would he put, be the person to be putting money on? Well, I think I think it's impossible because of just those top ten people who were there. Then they just yeah. they're all quite capable of putting in a lap, and you just wow. And they could all win the race as well. What's more, I know. <laughs> he he did a nearly a, a nearly identical time that time round. So. The first one wasn't a, wasn't a mistake. It was wholly intended. Um, Pete Van Gogh. Looking at Spencer and well, uh, Pete Pete is uh, running top ten. Yeah, that's brilliant. He might improve here as well. Let's have a look. What's it going to do to his time in tower? Nothing. Must have had an he incident knows, on that lap. He knows the track well. I mean, we all do, don't we? We've, we've but we've. It's, <laughs> so part of the MX5 uh, scheduling, yeah. Donington. We come here often, thankfully. <laughs> right, we've got, so, quite, we've got a few people yeah. watching at the minute, so uh, get on the chat, folks, and uh, shout out for whoever your um, favourite racers are. Usually there's a few Boots and BD, uh, BDS by Undercut fans out there and a few... Um, DDK fans, well, uh, David E at least. Um, let's have a look. Boots and oh, Remy yeah. midfield at the minute, but doing very well in his own category. We can split this out, by the way, um, so we can show who's um, where in which of the uh, three categories. Um, so that seems to be working out quite nicely. Yeah, that's brilliant. But Mr. Hilton's doing terribly well. He's the top of his category. Oh, my. Yeah, he is. <laughs> and uh, yeah, a Pete's at the top of his category. Yeah. Probably, uh, well, Mr. Daniels is now uh, getting his mojo working as well. Yes, he's just moved up quite quite a lot, actually. He's moved right up. Um, Tony Walker, last season's AM champion in third there at the moment. Had a bit of a, um, a coming together with, I think, Dan Mould, wasn't it, at um, Sebring, if you remember, leaving the, the chicane. Oh, Carl Hardy's just popped a time in there. Let's go back to splitting it out this well not splitting it out mixing it up again 
Um, oh, well, they're good. You know, they've got people uh, out the pro class running behind them. They're in mixing in that. It's a, a very fluid boundary there, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas yeah. the one that's uh, between the arms and the, uh, the the pro arms and the arms is very solid. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah. These people are, uh, are really trying very hard. <laughs> David, e, uh, David Daniel says, "Sorry, Pete, I was busy, uh, busy cursing at him. Uh, he's talking <laughs> about Kevin, um, uh, so yeah. he's, he's clearly giving some inspirational uh, <laughs> words of wisdom." Uh, right, we're about to get thrown out of this one um, because that's what it does in iRacing racing in the heats, um, and we're going to join the main race. I'm waiting for somebody to drop onto the grid, which they have done now, so I'm just going to extend gridding um, as I go through the grid. So, Miguel Freitas will be our pole man tonight for Impulse Racing. Great to see him back at the point again. Um, Sam Blees in second next to him, our current reigning champion. Uh, third will be Dan Mould for SRL. Um, Pete Newman will go off fourth for Results Esport Team with Pure Sims. Jamie Jeffrey off fifth for Co Coupes and Convertibles Racing. Wobbly off sixth for BSTV Pink. Stephen Walker will go 7th for Spectre 6 with Spencer McCarthy off 8th for Hydro Race Geodesic Racing. Mark Draper will go off 9th. Uh, why is his team not showing? Don't know. Um, oh, because he doesn't have one, that's right. Uh, Pete Van Gul will go off 10th for Resort Clothing. Uh, 11th will be Matt Elmore for Spectre 6 with Carl Hardy uh, 12th for Safeguard by Result. 13th will be Kevin Daniels for DDK Racing. Uh, Jay Corley off 14th for Resort Clothing. Uh, 15th will be Tony Walker for Spectre 6 with Stefan Gobel in 16th for VTS Esports uh, 17th will be Remy Malaberti for Boots and VDS by Undercut Roger Morton will go off 18th for Safeguard by Result uh, 19th will be Russell Cowell for Spectre 6 Stop flashing your lights uh, Loic will go off 20th for Boots and VDS by Undercut JB will go off 21st for BSTV Pink and Jamie Wilson will go off uh, 22nd for Team Chimera with Chris Needham off 23rd for Air Smart Racing Anthony Hilton will go off 24th for Mellow Motorsport. Hopefully Anthony doesn't uh, get into this flashing lights habit that all these idiots have got. Um, Fiona will go off 25th for Work Guard. David Ayres will... Will you just stop it? Uh, off 26th for Result Clothing will be uh, David Ayres. 27th will be Jason Haddington. Kylie, as we know him, for Air Smart Racing. Arno Shannonia. Miguel, I thought, I, th I thought better of you. Uh, Arno will go off 28th for Air Smart Racing. Andrew will go off 29th for Work Guard. And Chris Dixon will go off 30th for Work Guard. Right, so just let me get all these penalties applied to the website for all those <laughs> ones that decided they were uh, too posh not to flash. Here we go. We are. Green, green, green. And that was very loud for what a What a sight that is. Yeah. Look at all those cars. That's an impressive, impressive sight. Uh, that's Sam Blees immediately trying to get round the outside of Miguel. Not managing it. That is not the way to do that one. Ooh, oh, we got some wild, wild racers. Why is Jay Corley dropped down? Because he's out uh, in, the, in the gravel with Tony Walker. Uh, and Roger Morton's back here Roger. as well. We'll come back and look at that in a second. As uh, Wobbly's trying to make his way through here. And, and doing so, but he's out on the grass doing some verge trimming. Um, oh, Stephen Walker around the outside of him. Two Audis side by side. When was the last time we saw that in a TCR race? Right. Like some time. Yeah, it is, That's isn't it? Sure. Yeah. Mark Draper sniffing around those two Audis trying to get um, the jump on them. Oh, who's that turned around yeah, in the back there? Is that Chris around. Needham? Chris Needham. Oh, come on, yeah. Chris. Got spun. We'll have a look at what happened there later, but this is there's too much action at the minute. Uh, Nicola Jeffrey on the chat, uh, urging Jamie on. Um, currently, he is in fourth place. Yeah, um, he, uh, oh. he's doing pretty well for himself tonight, that's he for is. sure. Uh, you need to have a cool head out there at the moment. Goodness me. Now, that was interesting. Both Stephen and Wobbly wriggling the car to try and get heat in the front tyres. Remy Malaberti has gone to pit road and is leaving now. Um, I don't know what that's all about, but he must have reset somehow. Um, as Wobbly and Stephen Walker in the right. Oh, 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 don't touch like that, please. Oh, Old hairpin oh. is not a too wide situation. And then Mark Draper sniffing around this. 
Well, we know oh. what this, this first race is like, Pete. This is frantic. This is ridiculous. Uh, so the front five here. We're going to have five wide in a minute. Oh, my God. Dan Mould. That's either brave or silly. Oh. So Sam Blees has managed to pick the lock here and get alongside Miguel. There's some very confident in each other's ability driving going on out there. Uh, yeah, there is. I'm going to watch this one from behind here through this... Chicane, oh, that's that, a big nasty curve. I think Dan Mould might have a... Oh, he could have got a run there if he'd just managed to not get so underneath the back um, of Miguel's car. I lost where my cursor was, folks. That's why he was staring at nothing for a while. Uh, oh! Oh, 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 They did. Pete Newman and Dan Mould get together. And that's let uh, quite a few cars through on both of them, really. Uh, that was just a racing incident. Oh, it just um, uh, it was a pack closed up like lightning, didn't it? It did, it did. <clears throat> so, through they all come now. Mark Draper very wide there, at, um, wherever that was. That old hairpin, I think it was, because we're at Starkey's Bridge now, making our way up the hill. And that's Spencer McCarthy. Whoa! Whoa. Mark Draper. Two into one didn't go. He's he's still keeping it going though. He's like quite a few cars through, but he's still going. No real damage. Yeah. Carl Hardy losing places now to Matt Elmore. Oh, that won't delight him. No, these two. Matt's got pace these yeah. days, hasn't he? He has. <laughs> oh, 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 that's such a wicked curve. You don't want to catch that. It does not rattle the dentures. It does. All my fillings have fallen out there before. I tell you. So, Sam Blees leads this race. Oh, and Miguel's gone round. Uh, Dan Mould has uh, got into him. How far off is he? He's back on now. Uh, but that's fairly critical. Oh, he didn't need to have to happen in this race because there's uh, so little time to get it back. The, the race flies by yeah, like lightning. It certainly does. Here it is. So, where is Dan Mould? Is he coming from three weeks back? Oh, he did. He got everything oh, wrong. He got everything oh, wrong. Dear me. Talk about a deep dive. Deep dive? So, what does that do? Miguel is now back in eighth place, leading this huge group here. Um, ignore what it says on the battle box there. It's more than, uh, more than seven cars for this. It's all the way from eighth back to... Loic in 18th. It's 11 cars deep, this train of cars here. Right, so Sam Blees now has the biggest lead he's seen so far. Uh, Jamie Jeffrey is in second, so whatever uh, uh, rosary or you, whatever it is that you're praying to, Nicola, is working. Um, yeah, he's doing well. He needs to, though, because yeah. Dan's got pace tonight. We've already seen how quick he is. Yeah, he just needs to uh, find the brake pedal, I think, at the right time. As Spencer McCarthy uh, moves through on Stephen Walker. Wobbly's uh, kind of away in fourth place now. He's got himself some air. You can see Miguel now. He's starting to get himself back together, pulling away from that group behind. Uh, if anybody can bridge a gap, it's Miguel. That's uh, for sure. Yeah. Fastest lap currently is with uh, Sam Blees at the front of this race. Uh, Kevin Daniels has moved up a little bit since the start, but Russell Cowell is now chasing him down, and he's up six places. Please wait, mate. Sam's doing team. well to put a gap into Jamie. Yeah. Jamie is so quick, but he's, Sam's still eking out a gap, and that's pretty, pretty good driving, you've got to say, by our champion. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Carl Hardy now under a lot of pressure from Pete Van Gool. Um, as Sambly's logs another fastest lap. Paul's uh, topping his tree at the moment and doing very well. He is, yeah. He likes this place, we all like it, and uh, Carl can drive his place around and he's, uh, he's showing his, uh, his knowledge and his class at the moment. Running 10th in this field is uh, quite an accolade, I think. I wish I could drive in the top 10 of this lot. Goodness me. I know. I don't know how they do it. Honestly, I don't. Right, let's go back to where Miguel is, because Miguel is starting to bridge the gap to Stephen Walker. 
I don't know that. It, well, it's, we're only six and a half minutes, seven minutes in. Feels like I've done an entire race's worth of uh, commentary. Well, we've had a, a race's worth of incident. Yeah, I think we have. <laughs> now, I don't know whether Miguel has got some damage, but um, Matt Elmore is starting to Matt's close catching on him. It up. Now, that's all respect to Matt. You don't normally pull in Miguel. No, you don't. Let's just Nobody have a pulls in Miguel no. very easily, do they? No, they don't. Not that one. Where is it? <clears throat> Sure, there's one that you're looking at the driver. That is literally looking at the driver. Oh, Miguel looks calm bad. though, doesn't he? Uh, he does. I wonder if his steering wheel's straight. That's what I was trying to see, but yeah. oh no, we're on board with Matt Elmore. That's why. Right. So he's doing a bit of left and right to go in a straight line. No, that looks okay. Uh, <clears throat> oh, Might have red hot tyres from sliding across the track, Alan. Ah, uh, that's true because these tyres, it seems to me, are a little bit more sensitive. But I think it's yeah. the same in the MX fires. We people have been talking about getting overheated tyres far more frequently than they used to. Yep. So maybe that's uh, something that that's uh, crept in and the under the radar. <laughs> they're going to get melting tyres if you're not careful, chaps. And quite easily as well. David Daniels says, what a dive. Um, I'm going to replay that because I want to see what that looked like from Jamie Jeffries on board. So this is us on board with Jamie Jeffries. You're going to see uh, an Exocet missile come through on the uh, right-hand side. Wallop. There oh. we go. <laughs> and then... Once more with feeling. He wasn't going to stop that. No. This is on board with um, Dan Mould. Oh. Yeah, no. Um, that was not going to work from that distance. That's very optimistic. Yeah, that needed, a, that needed some sort of postage stamp. It was from that far back. Um, Russell Cowell. Around the outside of Mark Draper there. Ooh, what was that? Was that Dan Mould getting one done on Jamie Jeffrey? <clears throat> not quite, not quite. This might end badly oh, if neither yeah, of them give up. The, uh, neither of them will give up. Well, that's getting close. Jamie gave him loads of room, and that's just brought Wobbly into the party. So um, I, I think that is Sam Blee's. Well, off, Sam's off uh, win. happy. Yeah, Sam's uh, happy days now. These these lot are involved, and uh, this is going to be a scrap. Yeah, Dan Mould is very very quick. He's shown serious pace when uh, in quali. If we can drive off the front of these chaps, that's uh, seriously uh, fast. It is, yeah, and Pete Newman now putting pressure onto Jamie Jeffrey. I can't tell whether Jamie's got a bit of damage there, but Miguel has definitely caught Stephen Walker now. So it's not all over for Miguel. This is He's in this battle here for second place now, which is a remarkable recovery. <coughs> so he's, he's some kind of a driver. Isn't and he he doesn't, just? His head doesn't drop on no. adversity. It doesn't. Uh, it's proved it time and again that he's got uh, the spirit to go with his skill. Yeah. This is fantastic, Red CP. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> this is the camera I wanted for Miguel. Where's Miguel gone? No, his steering wheel's fine. <sighs> That's a relief. There's a car to our left at the minute, believe it or not. Or well, there was. Uh, That's oh. Spencer McCarthy. So this little battle here, three cars covering the amount of ground that one should be on, really. Um, yeah, Spencer's got his mojo working now a bit, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so Pete Newman was a bit further forward a moment ago. He's lost his momentum. And it's just yeah. slotted him right onto the bonnet, really, of uh, Spencer McCarthy there. But Stephen Walker trying to do something about Spencer. Right, uh, so Spencer, <laughs> nice, 
He's parked oh. his car right on the apex there, and that is a perfect defensive line to take. He's, uh... Miguel having a look, but he's not going to do anything here, I don't <laughs> think. He's just going to wait, get a really good drive out of this corner, and see what he can do. Although the others got just as good at a launch through yeah. that corner. They're such thinking drivers. Yeah. They manufacture overtaking uh, opportunities. They, they like think two corners in ahead and uh, mm. push out corner. I can barely think about the corner I'm on. Yeah. <clears throat> one surprise. Uh, mm. Sorry, go on. No, it's okay, go on. No, one surprise just... for me is um, that. Remy Malaberti is as far down as he is, but I think he got turned early on in the race. Uh, he he yeah. was very good in, in practice and qualifying. Yeah, Mark was as well. Mark Draper's out of position. Yes, he is. Yeah. Uh, I think Remy just moved up, actually. And Chris Needham and uh, Roger Morton are at it here, going into Old Hairpin. Yeah, well, they uh, they were involved in an incident, weren't they? So they're trying to make ground back. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Mark Draper's got it done on Russell Cowell. <clears throat> Although Russell's coming back at him. Stephen Walker. This is a good part with those two. Yeah. <laughs> so. Miguel. I don't know if the words up because trying to catch. to put a gap in and get hold of poor old Sam. Yeah. Miguel getting on the inside there of Stephen Walker um, at turn one uh, and getting the job done. So he's now setting off after uh, Spencer McCarthy. Um, is that Wobbly closing in on uh, Dan Mould slightly? And Jamie's closing in on uh, Wobbly, definitely. Right, wow. so again back here with Pete Van Gool chasing Carl Hardy. This is for the top spot in AM, of course. Well, everybody's gritting their teeth. You can feel it. Everybody's yeah. right on the edge. <laughs> there's no, there's nothing left. Everybody's no. absolutely on the thing edge here. There's still six minutes to go. There's plenty of opportunity for people to make some serious forward movement. That's a lovely a, line from Pete Van Gogh. Yeah. It feels panned out. It just gets harder and harder, doesn't it? If anything, because, uh, Carl and Pete are closing in on this top group. In fact, they, 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 even SDK is declaring that they are part of the battle for sixth place now. It's fantastic. It's going to move. Old friends, so they'll be happy yeah. to be there on track together. They will. Having to it, setting two, and uh, yeah, and doing it. <laughs> There's full satisfaction of my, the audience here, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. So, a little bit of air between these cars, but not between these two. Pete Van Gogh pushing um, Carl Hardy in that sister car for Result Clothing. Um, one is Result Clothing iRacing Team, one is Safeguard by Result. We've got so many people in our squad, we have to divide them up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we have safeguard. They're all result clo uh, clothing trademarks. They're all mm. some serious proper trademark. We look at the result. It's such a big multifaceted company. Otherwise, we'd run out of names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Pete Van Gogh still not doing anything about Carl Hardy. Jamie Wilson is now giving real pressure to Russell Cowell, uh, but has come under pressure from Stefan. Um, JB has entered pit road. Why would JB enter pit road? Where is JB? He's not in pit road at all. He's here. SDK doing SDK things. Um, right at the front. Wobbly is going to get some company very shortly. Jamie Jeffrey will be with him. Look, it's well in the, the pro arm is, category yeah. as well, isn't yeah. he? I think that, he's, that is he's, the he's right move. Here. That's definitely the right place for Lowe. Yeah. He's getting, he's getting uh, racing just the right people now. Right, 
Shall we go back and look at some of what happened at the very start? This is what happened at the start with uh, Tony Walker and others. Stefan Gobel was Stephane. away like a wow. bolted. It was a heck of a start, wasn't it? It was. So Tony yeah. didn't leave oh, oh, much racing room oh. on the inside there for Lowick um, and got spat out. And that was Jay Corley also spat out at that point. So that's why he's so far down. Was, and Roger I'm, got caught. Was he did. Well. But nah. look, look at Jay Corley's car crabbing down the road. Oh, so. dear. Look at that. That's going sideways, Pete. They're not supposed to do that, are they? Well, mine do. Um, <laughs> but I'm not, sure, I'm not sure it's by design. Right. right. So, so these guys are now making their way back through here. So this is Remy Malaberti um, and Roger Morton getting back through the field. Uh, Chris Needham's in front of them. He's also making his way back through because he got caught up in it as well. Uh, and he's chasing down Fiona at the moment. Uh, we're going to have to move to the front of the field because Wobbly is staying with Dan Mould. But he's uh, bringing Jamie Jeffrey with him. I don't know whether Pete Van Gool is going to try something this time no no maybe no <laughs> he, he was thinking about it, it was, the car was dancing yeah up. goodness me how close do you want it <laughs> um. and pete newman has just done a major job there is he no he's just defended his position uh lots of uh positions changing right in front of miguel it's not really what you want to do is it Oh, Chris Needham was through there, on yeah, Fiona. It's, a, it's it, a very lively bit of track. It is. <laughs> Miguel. Oh. Getting a bit of the shoulder treatment there from uh, Spencer. And then Stephen Walker now on the case. Well, you know, Miguel and Spencer, they're just two of the best overtakers in the business. Yeah. They both have got that magic bird. That, that, that they can produce out of nowhere. It's, it's a magical thing. Oh. They just they can take a car length on anybody just out by magic. Yeah, Spencer got a freebie there because um, Pete Newman was off on the grass. Of course, the problem is with that, when you can both do it, what happens when the two of you come together? <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, you know, it's, it just makes for absolutely fascinating battles that you cannot call. Right, what else is going on? Because there's some big battles going on here. Uh, this is Stefan chasing Jamie, chasing Russell. Um, with Loic closing in on them quite rapidly wow. now. Come on, Russell. He's doing the grand job. Yeah. <laughs> They're keeping him honest, that's for sure. Stefan, lovely line through there. He's going to get a run here on Jamie Wilson. Oh, he's driving well, isn't he, Stefan? He is. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ah. It's a bit cosy. Very cosy. No, no, no arm done, I don't think. No, but three wide down Starkey's. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, calm down, lads. <laughs> I know we're at the end of the race. This, that was the end of the race. Um, no. We're just watching them go over the line. I couldn't really look away quick enough, if that makes sense. Yeah. Here they come. Jamie got out on top of all of that. Blimey. What a race. Sorry about the frantic camera work there, folks, right at the very end. But I was trying to keep with that battle because it was so good and not miss the uh, end of the race, but I had to. All right, here comes Fiona. She's going to get over the line just ahead of Remy Malaberti. Uh, only just. Um, and my word, what a dramatic, dramatic race. Um, where's Jay Corley? Try and you told me it'd be a quiet night. Uh, where, did I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I lie to no. you that badly? <laughs> no. Uh, I'll put your words in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Dixon gets across the line uh, in 29th. Anthony Hilton, uh, I don't know that he did many laps. Uh, he's obviously done some because he pitted on lap six. Uh, so, um, yeah, that was uh, rather, rather dramatic. So, let's have a look at how that all works out in finishing order there we go 
Uh, Sam Blees uh, won by about a year, uh, I think, in the end, with all the battling going on behind him for Hydra Race Geodesic Racing. Uh, Dan Mould got the second step on tonight's podium uh, for SRL. Um, Wobbly finished on the bottom step of the podium for BSTV Pink. Uh, Jamie Jeffrey just outside the podium positions, but in a great finishing position for Coupes and convert Convertibles Racing in fourth. Uh, Spencer McCarthy in fifth. Uh, had to fight for all of those points and, and uh, positions for Hydra Race Geodesic. Uh, Pete Newman was sixth for Result Esports team with Pure Sims. Miguel uh, finished seventh for Impulse Racing after uh, getting uh, absolutely mullered uh, in a send situation by Dan Mould uh, in seventh. Eighth was uh, Matt Elmore for Spectre 6 and his teammate Stephen Walker finished right behind him in ninth. Uh, what did I just say? Yeah, that's right. There's too many numbers in this. Uh, uh, Carl Hardy finished 10th for Safeguard. Uh, right behind him was Pete Van Gogh for Result Clothing in 11th. Uh, 12th was Kevin Daniels for DDK Racing. And those are your 1, 2, 3 podium positions for AM. Uh, sorry, Pro-Am. Uh, got so many so many things going on in this one this year, haven't we? Um, Mark Draper finished 13th on a recovery drive there. Uh, and then Russell Cowell finished in 14th for Spectre 6. Jamie Wilson will be uh, your pole man for tonight's 40-minute race for Team Chimera. Um, 16th will be Stefan Goebel for VTS Esports. Loic Penalt will go off 17th for Boots and VDS. Sorry, finished 17th for Boots and VDS by Undercut. JB Deju finished in uh, 18th for BSTV Pink. Uh, 19th was Tony Walker for Spectre 6 after... Uh, uh, not even getting to the first corner and having uh, incidents. Um, Arno Chenonier finished 20th for Air Smart Racing with his teammate behind him, Chris Needham. Um, Fiona finished in 22nd, but second in AM uh, to uh, Arno. So that's a good result for Fiona's first race back for work guard. Uh, Remy Malaberti uh, got caught up in it all in 23rd for Boots and VDS. 24th was Roger, who we saw in that uh, first lap incident for Safeguard. Uh, 25th was David Ayres for Result Clothing. Jason Kylie Haddington finished 26th for Air Smart Racing. Andrew Littler was 27th uh, for Work Guard by Result with Jay Corley in 28th uh, after getting uh, a rear suspension snapping um, on that incident on that first lap uh, for Result Clothing. Um, and then Chris Dixon finished 29th for Work Guard and Anthony Hilton uh, finished 30th for Mellow Motorsport. Wow. Yes. That was a heck of a race. Uh, yeah. It was from start to finish, total full on. And, uh, wow. Okay, I imagine they're all well happy to take a quick breather and get themselves fortified because they've got another 40 minutes of the same. I know. Um, it's going to be quite a dramatic reverse grid, I think, uh, given what we saw in the first one. There's so many people in this that um, have... Really good. Qu Ooh, that's Stephen uh, Walker practicing his pits, uh, his race starts in the pits. Um, as a couple go around the track, probably to practice their pit stops, but they're going to have to be quick because uh, there's only five minutes in this interval um, so that we can keep the excitement running for you folks. So uh, just a reminder, um, V8s will be back uh, in June. Um, we will announce more nearer the time. There is a promo video that I'll probably end up playing at some point again. Um, Maybe not on this broadcast, maybe um, in the next one. But it's on YouTube already, so get that watched. Um, it'll be an exciting league once it gets going again. Uh, but tonight, um, in less than a minute, we shall grid up for the second of tonight's races. I'm going to take a swig of beer. And I suggest, Alan, you get yourself some um, amber refreshment. It's my uh... Excellent. And it's very nice. It's one of the uh, sherry casks, I believe. It... Yes. Oh, very nice. Mm. Right, so a couple of pit stops practised. Um, and that'll be a feature here. So a 40-minute race. Chances are you're going to have to pit. I don't think anybody can fuel save it. Um, <laughs> no, if they go the way they did in the first one. No. I thought they were fuel saving there, were they? Goodness. No, no way. <laughs> well... We shall see. Normally we have a bit of a s s slightly calm start to this race. Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah, ish. Oh, um, it's only, I mean, by degrees, but it's, yeah. it's they tend to just 
not quite so at it straight away on the first lap. We, like, give me, a, give me a chance to uh, catch my <laughs> breath. Yeah. <laughs> right then, let's um, wait for somebody to join the grid. Roger's done that for me, so I'll just re-do uh, that. I've got the wrong thing showing, of course. Why would I have the right thing showing? Jamie Wilson will lead us away for Team Chimera. Russell Cowell will go off second. Third will be Mark Draper. Kevin Daniels will go off fourth on the second row. Third, uh, third row will be Pete Van Gool and Carl Hardy, fifth and sixth. Uh, then Stephen Walker and uh, Matt Elmore, seventh and eighth. Miguel Freitas will go off ninth with Pete Newman in tenth. Eleventh will be Spencer McCarthy. Uh, and twelfth will, uh, uh, will be Jamie Jeffrey. <laughs> Um, I need to press something. There we go. 13th will be Wobbly uh, with Dan Mould. 14th. Sam Blees will go off 15th. That's his punishment for winning the first of tonight's races. Stefan will go off 16th. Uh, he'll have some good tow around the track. Um, Lowick will go off 17th with JB 18th. Tony Walker off 19th. Arno Shinonier off 20th. 21st will be Chris Needham and next to him will be Fiona. Uh, Remy Malaberti will go off 23rd with Roger Morton in 24th. Um, 25th will be David Ayres next to Kylie Haddington in 26th 27th will be Andrew Littler um, next to Jay Corley in 28th 29th will be Chris Dixon uh, and Anthony Hilton will go off 30th in this 40 minute race um, let me just see if Spencer ended up changing his flag because I know he wanted to uh, where's Spencer where is, oh, there he is. No, he's still got the uh, all three. He wanted to change his flag to something else. Um, I told him how to do it. Um, right, so let's get ready to race. <clears throat> um, and David, David Daniel says, let's go. Yeah, absolutely. We are ready for this. Uh, I'm going to focus on... I'm going to focus on Spencer. He's uh, a few rows back. He's on row five. Um, and it might be that we get some uh, decent action from around that little area of the track. Um, right, we are finished gridding. We are going oh, to green. Lights are coming on. Green flag, green And we flag. are green already. They didn't make him wait at all. Even Barney was like waving his flag then, I think. Um, fairly organized start. I'm going to move the camera forward a little. Bit more pedestrian than the last race, um, Alan. Yes, well, as predicted. <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 no! If you're going to do that, don't do that. Uh, well, that's Andy Littler. Uh, yes, not don't do that, Squaddy. No. Oh, my darling. I'm not sure what happened no. there. I don't know whether that was a technical issue because he seemed to continue to drive into the wall. Yeah, that was a funny thing. That was. It was. Look, well. We can't look at the replay at the moment, that's for sure, because no. uh, look at this. Yeah, so Jamie Wilson off to the races on his own at the moment. He's got nearly a second lead already. Miguel Freitas absolutely scything his way through already. And that's Spencer following him as well. Yes, it's very serious uh, pair to together. Goodness me, if they start working together. Uh, I think Spencer ended up with a slowdown or something because he dropped off the back of Miguel quite rapidly. Stephen oh, out in Stephen. the weeds. Oh, crikey. He's going to lose loads of position. Who's that? Oh! That was Chris Needham? Yeah, Chris Needham. We're going to watch that one again in a second because that looked very what violent. Stephen Walker with a me. massive, massive loss of position. Uh, but not as much as Chris Needham and Roger Morton, Alan. Oh no! I'm afraid All so. Did they ever come in together? Do you think? Uh, I think it probably was. We're going to look to it in a second. Um, um, you can't take your eyes off this, can you? Not really. But Jamie will be busting the gut to try and get get away, and break the, any kind of a toe. Yeah, it's getting cut down though. His lead. Um, oh, that's Miguel doing a a move there on Pete Van Gogh. So Miguel making his way to the front very, very quickly. And this is what we've we, seen this before, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, just gonna say the same thing. Tony Walker out of falling out of position now and dropping back. They go off to start so so they get into this pace so quickly. Where is Spencer? Oh he's right. Spencer does right the there. same thing. They, they seem to snatch paces at the start of races. 
Yeah. Where every, everything else is chaos around them and they seem to get places. It's fantastic skill. Yeah, Dan Mulder's got some serious damage on the front right of that, uh, that Honda. Oh, well, that's a shame because Dan was a potent force in that first race, I can say. He was a potent force into the back of Miguel. Um, right, and we got side by side Audis again. Second race running. Who knew? Stephen Walker being hounded by Stefan Gobel. Oh, that's great for Steph, isn't it? It is, yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you can hound any of the Walker boys these days, you do pretty well. Yeah, Jamie Jeffrey making his way through on Stefan now. No messing wow. there. Oh, actually, that was Stephen Walker passing Stefan. It wasn't him hounding him. Uh, Remy Malaberti, oh, a bit wide on that line, uh, with David Ayres right in front of him. That was... That was some kind of a pass by oh, Jamie Oh, look there. at that. He just went flying by him. Remy Malaberti, what are you eating? I need some of it. Because that was excellent. <laughs> Lovely overtake, that. Right, Ooh, let's just go back. It's getting a bit cosy there. Come on, yeah. careful here. Yep, yeah. Yeah, managed to negotiate it. And that's Jay Corley. Oh. Look at Jay Corley. He's up seven places already. So he's after the points, and he's getting them very quickly. That's Roger Morton behind yeah. him now as well, I think. It's some. Uh, this is great driving by everybody because yeah. if you need, if you're going to have these people taking all these places, they're depending on the other chap keeping his line and yeah. having control of his car so they can do it. Sorry, it was David Ayres and uh, Anthony Hilton who had a bit of a rough ride in the first race. Up eight places already in this one, so oh, go on, uh, Anthony. welcome to that the was, league. Uh, yes, that wasn't a, that wasn't a great start for the lad in no. his first race, and uh, let's hope he has some fun in this one. It looks like he's uh, certainly starting to. Oh, there's our Roger. What's he doing? Uh, I think he's doing the weeds at the side of Keep the. Keep it on the black stuff, Rog. Yeah. Heaven's sake! Uh, he's dropping back massively at the minute. He's now oh, back on the racing goodness. circuit. There's this go lot. Come on, Bonnie, lad. Yeah. yeah. This is not good to go too wide into there. Not good. Oh, scary business. Is that Carl There's... Hardy getting two positions in one turn? Oh, he nearly did it. He nearly did it. Not That's quite. That's a wicked chicane. It is. It's, it's fantastic. Oh! oh! That is... Who is that? Matt Elmore? Yeah. So, I think he cut across the front of Dan Mould's car. I don't think Dan Mould will have known he was going to do that. Um... Oh, it looked strange, didn't it? Just shot sideways and yeah. out of nowhere, really. I'm trying to find that on my event tracker. But... Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Crikey. I know. That was close as well. Right, let's have a quick look at this. So we're going to go on board with Dan Mould, hopefully. If I can do this quickly enough. Where is that? Oh, oh that was a bit of rubbish camera work, Pete. Try that again next time. Uh, right, we'll do it again now. So, did Dan see it at all? Probably not, you know. So he was on the brakes early and um, Matt still came across the front of him, flashy, flashy. Right, uh, back to live running. Uh, it's unfortunate. It was. He's been driving really well and uh, kind of set him back a little bit. But hopefully his car's okay. Yes. Mark Draper has been off and has crashed. Oh no. Yeah, so not not having a fun time at the minute, Mark Draper. Oh, and Chris is gone as well. Uh, yes. I don't oh, know right, yeah, they're both that. gone. Poor oh, lad. He's had no good luck whatsoever. No. No, seems to only have bad luck at the minute. Miguel making his way through. Spencer ahead of him now, so something's happened there. I have to go and find out what that was now. Uh, it's not that. Doodly doodly. Oh, right. It might be this. So, watching Miguel here. Car in the middle of your screen. Ah, oh, right. So he uh, oh. lost his momentum on the grass. Excursion. Yeah. Okay. That's as uh, dramatic as that gets. 
Right, this Too is... Too wide through there. I know. That's, uh, Pete Van Gogh and Spencer, this is. Oh. Well, it could be done, but you've got to be a blooming good driver to pull it off. Yeah, what happened with Mark Draper, I'm being asked. I'm going to go and find it. It's this. He was off track for about a year. So he's chasing Russell here. On the brakes early, going into the chicane. Lost the back end and into the uh, tyres. And then has reset the car. So maybe not having the best enjoyment of the race tonight. That's enough for that, he says. Yeah. Oh, and look at the H3. Back on it again. All driving on the on the amount of space it takes to put a first class oh, postage stamp underneath them. Oh goodness. I do wish you closed it up, lads, honestly. Oh, All the yeah. space. <laughs> leaving each other way too much room for a hug. They're giving each other plenty of respect. Yeah, they are. And that's that's uh because crikey. There's considerable trust involved in all this. It does make you feel good though, Pete. You know when you've been involved in these situations, it's got wide and dangerous and uh, and you pull it through just by sensible holding your line and you know, just being angry to to get the brake and everything right so you don't have to do anything and everybody just swings around together and it works out and there's a beautiful flow to it and it just feels so great. It does, it does. PVG's having a great race. Dan Mould's on his way back through here. Um, but he's in a hell of a scrap. As David E's just called that out, actually. Um, and uh, don't adjust your set, Davey. Whatever you said to him in the interval, it's working because uh, Kevin is currently holding station in third place. Uh, there is a battle on now for the lead, though. So uh, we're going to stick stick around this little area here. And Kevin's got Spencer. Yes, he has. And uh, Miguel. Uh, Ooh, if I've got not the people I want to see in my re rear view mirror, that's for sure. No, uh, Dan Mould not able to hold that position quite yet. He's going toe to toe with another Honda here in the form of Pete Van Gool. Uh, Matt Elmore and Jay Corley setting fastest laps of this race in the midfield. Wow, wow this is good driving, isn't it, by these guys? Look at this. Yeah, some please. Swimming. <laughs> Sam Blees is like, can somebody move this new Great Wall of Honda out of my way, please? There he comes. Whoa. He's going to be on the outside <laughs> for McLean's here. I don't know how that's going to work necessarily. It's not going to work. So he's uh, bailed out of it. These people are masters. They Absolute are. masters of doing this stuff. Dan. Weaving in and out. Dan Mull getting the hurry up from Sam Blees there. He gave him two little nudges and said, get on with it. Oh, and the lead has just changed. Just on that corner. Uh, uh, and it looks like Jamie's been muscle. off track and handed it to him. Uh, but Jamie's coming back at him now, going round the outside here. This does work. The Veloster's great round the outside of that turn. And you can get on the gas pretty quick as well. So. Come on. <clears throat> Jamie might just defend this, but Russell's going to have the inside line for Old Hairpin. They're going round this two by two Ooh, here. Oh, wicked, wicked Not corner! Not quite two by two. That is some nasty corner. It is. And that's Spencer sniffing. He can taste a victory here. He's launched it down the inside there. That was a good attempt at a move there. And this battle is bringing Miguel and Pete Newman along for the ride up to the top spots. Yes, it's uh, it's very dangerous. Uh, it would be nice if Jamie and Russell could work together a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's happening at any time soon. No, I can't see it, but it would be to their advantage. It would. Yeah, Jamie's... It might be a bit late now that uh, Spencer's bridged the gap. Yeah. Oh, right, we've got visitors to Pit Road. So, Miguel and uh, Pete Newman. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of them coming oh, in. Oh, there is. Oh, the whole, half the field are in. We've not seen this before. Not this many early on. What lap are we on? Is this six? No, Two, 11. Three, four, five, six, six. Oh, hello, he's doing it. 
Ja, bompen. Ja, het is een bompen in it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at that. That's some fancy pit stopping, that is. It is. We're going to have to join this, though, because uh, Spencer's now on to Russell. So everybody's leaving pit road now. That was at the end of lap 10 for all those guys. I don't they realise those chaps have been into the pits. Uh, yeah, probably don't. <laughs> yeah. So Jamie picking up lead lap points. I think Russell ended up with one of them. Russell's doing a great drive. They all are, aren't they? I mean, they only just keep uh, Spencer behind them for... Oh, 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 Jamie. Oh, Jamie, where have you gone, mate? That'll be the mother of all slowdowns, and he's going to burn that slowdown off. Uh, That's a brilliant bit of thought. That is such sensible racing. So he, he picked up a slowdown, obviously. He's going to burn it off in pit road. Brilliant. Well done, Jamie Wilson. That is quick thinking. You genius. Yeah, he's... Uh... He doesn't lack in that department, that's No for way, sure. no way. You have to get up in the morning very early to catch him out. Right, let's go back to the front here because Spencer's about to do something with uh, Russell Cowell. Uh, Davey says, Kevin will not fight Spencer and, and Freitas, hopefully. Where has Kevin ended up? Uh, where is he? Oh, he's there, still he's the third. Still the third, yeah, right on the back of these two. Now. Yeah, he's keeping them in, uh, keeping them very honest. Yeah. I mean, Spencer and Russell have been doing this for many years, haven't they? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Right then, so Spencer. This is good driving by Russell. He's really, uh, he's really doing a great drive here. Yeah. He's in, you know, by right, he's there. You know, his pace is, is putting him there. He is very quick in that Elantra, it has to be said. Um, Kevin seems to be the kind of the bubble in the spirit level, really. Cars go past him, but he stays in third place. <laughs> um, uh, as uh, Kylie Haddington finds pit road. Right, where is oh, everybody else racing? Uh, so back here, <clears throat> Matt Elmore closing in on Stefan, who in turn uh, is closing in on Carl. Right, I want to go and see what happens to poor old Chris Needham at the start. Um, it was right near the start as well. Um, there it is. So this is at the end of lap one, I think it is, yeah. Oh, he went in hot um, behind JB and Jamie. Oh, he got concertinaed up. Yeah, he got on the brakes and, uh, and choked up uh, Jamie Jeffrey, which is what caused that. Yeah, very un Just a racing unfortunate incident. Unfortunate place for it to happen, though. Yeah, yeah. If anywhere else, that slight touch wouldn't have mattered. No. But, but just that place, that is just that slight touch was enough to cause all kinds of problems yeah, with the wall. It's because he was underneath the boot lid of the car in front of him, um, and he couldn't go anywhere in turn. So, just an unfortunate series of events, to be honest. This is Jay Crawley yeah. chasing down Remy Malaberti, by the way. That's a lot of grass. <laughs> That's <laughs> a lot of grass. Uh, We've seen a few people on the grass there, haven't we, tonight? Yeah. So, uh, some dangerous. Uh, well, it is that corner and that well, that chicane is just it is it, it potentially dangerous. Yeah, I think all these cars need to get sponsored by Flymo. <laughs> well, at least the I mean the grass here used to be lethal. Be I mean mm. the ice grass of Donny was famous for yes. Uh, you know, you would, would get going and you'd still be going the following weekend. Uh, I remember. In one broadcast, somebody saying the grass is faster than the tarmac. <laughs> yeah, well, you can. <laughs> Quite. So now that they tamed the grass a little bit, it's mm. not such a lethal thing to get a tire on it. No. But it still has impact. It does. They haven't tamed it entirely, and there's no reason they should. And of course, now, if you get some wet grass, then you don't want to be, you, you add it. Right. In fact, the curbs are all these things are lethal with the yeah mat. yeah absolutely 
Right, let's have a look at where... I mean, we're halfway through the pit stop, so it's not indicative of very much, but let's have a look at where everybody stood in their relative um, categories. Spencer leading the way, Dan Mould in second, and Matt Elmore in third in pro. Russell Cowell leading Pro-Am, uh, with Kevin in second and Pete Van Gogh in third. And in AM, uh, David Ayres, Arno Chenonier and Fiona in third. So that's a really good showing tonight from Fiona. Yeah. Um, keeping it on the track and uh, being rewarded as a result. Yes, and uh, she drove last, well last night in the uh, MX-5. With <laughs> no, yeah. Everybody was uh, getting a bit of a battering. Yeah, and she's ahead here of Anthony Hilton. Both of these guys owe us a pit stop. Um, but these Absol guys are currently up 17 positions. Um, I don't know Absol where... like drumming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. David Ayres is doing all right this time as well. He's up 15. Uh, yes, these guys have got pit stops to pay back, but um, uh, we'll see where they end up. Yeah, it's great to see David out there and doing so well. He's yeah. got... He's got found his a bit of pace hasn't he he's got a nice uh, feel for the car i think and uh yeah it's in he's in a top 10 position at the moment we know we've got the pit stop to come and everything but uh to him show your face there is very nice i think the um second half of this race alan when we get there because we're one minute away from it um it's going to be very very tasty miguel is the first car to have pitted and he is being chased very, very closely by uh, Pete Newman. Uh, and then that's Sam Blees and Wobbly just chasing them um, not very far behind at all. Yes, it's a pretty potent force, then, isn't it? It is. Um, and that is uh, Wobbly right behind. There's uh, quite, a, quite a lot of pace in those four there. So... We never know. You just don't know how it's going to pan out. We have so many turnarounds with the pit stops that they can raise and crash so many hopes. Yeah. You just never know how it's going to go. So, Dan We Mold. have some very exciting pit entries and exits there, don't we? Yes, we do. And this is a track where they do crash every so often um, at pit lane exit. Uh, because to get the optimal turn around turn one, um, you have to kind of incur upon the pit lane exit somewhat you do um as it's the line isn't it the best line takes you right over there you see where they're coming I know. <laughs> yes if, the, if if you're coming out just as that car's hurtling down the main straight it uh, can get a bit tasty yeah so cal hardy has come out um behind loic penalt loic's done doing a really great job tonight he must really like this track it's performed very well uh, Davey says these class changes are shaking things up. Uh, great move from the organisation. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree with him. I do think it's... Uh, I was going to say, I meant to say, actually, and, uh, between the races, what I think the, the way that the class changes and the introduction of the, uh, the pro-arm and the arm class have caused this explosion of excitement because mm. everybody's got something to race for. Yeah. Everybody's in a battle, not just for the overall race, but they're all in a battle for the championship, for their pro am or am championship as well. There's the pros who, because, you know, no matter which way you look at it, the top fastest 10 people are likely to share the championship. But yeah. Now, everybody in this field has got the chance to, to stand on a podium, and that is, there's no greater incentive to these chaps, is there? Don't forget the the, the, the the wonderful plastic trophy and well, the, you uh, know, I mean, the, the that goes without saying, Pete. Really, you know, yeah. it's, uh, that's why I wasn't saying it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't seem to be able to get a shot of Pete Van Gogh tonight without other cars crawling all over and round him. Um, he's he's been very very entertaining all night. Well, he will love it. He likes to drive and. Uh... He's getting the chance to do it as well. Yep. So Anthony Hilton here, peeling off for his pit stop, uh, chasing Fiona into the pit lane. Uh, so that's their um, scheduled stops uh, getting completed. They were just about getting lapped. Um, not lapped, caught and overtaken by uh, Miguel and Co. Who was that going wide? Um, 
I didn't see it. Uh, I think it might have been Chris Dixon. Yes. So he's just staying out of the way, um, which is probably sensible with these super fast guys steaming through. Oh, that was a bit of car. Oh, did you that see was... that? Yes, I did. I did. I know about those because I lost one last night at, uh, at Bathurst. That was. Oh, it was. It was Sam Blees's car, right? We're gonna have to find. Oh, uh, it's a front bumper. It was. I lost mine. Uh, we all lost one last night at Bathurst in the MX fives. I don't know. <laughs> it was I... the car with the bumper on it. I don't understand how I get back to have a look at that. Well, we can look at the results. <laughs> it, well, yeah, yeah. I don't think it'll affect his aero too much. No, as Fiona and Anthony Hilton uh, go at it after leaving the pit lane, Fiona's holding that position, staying well, on the inside. Well, he will battle hard. Yeah. No matter what, he will give you a battle. So this is great for Anthony because yeah. he's obviously got, you know, oh, nice enjoying himself back. and there's uh, some bit to race with. And, uh, yeah, good on him. Fantastic. I, I like this the, the the style of this guy. He's um he's clearly got some speed. I like it a lot. Right, let's go and find where the rest of the action is. There's some going on around uh, Jamie here, who's taking that car sideways um, into old hairpin uh, with Loic. Oh, Loic, crazy. Nice. Yeah, that was a nice little move there. He's going to get the inside line here into McLean's. Not quite getting it done yet. Very cautious about making contact, which is the right thing to do. Ooh, what's going on here? Ah, right, Kevin Daniels has finally pitted the car. Uh, he's one of the last ones to do so. Um, the whole of Spectre 6 have yet to pit, um, which is Tony Walker, Stephen Walker, and Matt Elmore. <clears throat> uh, and Russell Cowell in the Spectre 6, the letters, has yet to pit as well. So that, that seems to be a team strategy Kevin Daniels has come out in 12th place well we'll need a few laps for everything to uh, sort out won't we when uh, we won't know how it's going to pan out until everybody's been in so nope. this is always that element of uncertainty in the middle of the race we get this don't we we where everybody's half the people have pitted half the people haven't you can't tell who how it's going to pan out because People will be putting in their fastest laps to try and make and or maintain or in large gaps. People will be pouring into the pits right on the verge of the trying to make the fastest pit stop they can. Yeah. They're under pressure, mistakes get made. It's uh really adds an awful lot of uh, tension to the whole thing and to stop for the pits. You'd much rather just sit there and drive around. Yeah, <laughs> true, true. Um, so, Spencer McCarthy still leads this race um, by quite a long way. He's got a four-second lead over Russell Cowell, who's yet to pit, and then the rest of the Spectre 6 team um, and JB are still to pit. Uh, Jamie Jeffrey, uh, because his fan club's on the chat, uh, is currently in 16th place. Uh, a bit mired down at the moment. He's about to try and move, or he was just looking to, on Loic Penault, um, who's not quite got past... Um, Jamie Wilson. Jamie Wilson's pulling away now, actually. <clears throat> Ooh, a bit of a uh, hip check there. Wow. But Jamie... Uh, worked out okay. Yeah, late on the brakes for Jamie there. But Loic's on the... Uh, if he can stay on the outside through Starkey's Bridge here, on the way up the hill. No, he's not managed it. So Jamie's got that done now, and he's got Jamie Wilson ahead of him. So Team Jamie... Um, off to the races. Sam Blees and Dan Mould here, side by side. Well, I, Dan Mould. You only will be on, you only be on Sam, but it certainly isn't going to be easy the way Dan's been driving. Well, and Sam's not got a front end on, on, the, on his car at all, and I, and I don't know how he's uh, managed to achieve that state because it wasn't it, on oh, camera. Well, did you? Uh, Perhaps it was the one that was flying across that field. Oh, it was definitely that one. I just can't get a bit of footage that will oh, show it. Oh, you can't it. find it, yeah. right. Remy Malaberti doing a drive-through. Has he got a bumper? No, he's doing... A, yeah, he's got a bumper. <laughs> <laughs> but he's doing a drive-through. He's doing the drive of shame. 
Uh, he's oh. hit, hit the incident limit. Well, I know how that feels. Yeah, it's easy to get incidents uh, for off tracks around this track. Loic Penalt, um, his teammate, though, making his way through. Oh no! Yes. He was, yeah, yeah. He's, he was off track again, and he's gone sideways there. He's getting pressure from Carl. He is. And they're making their way up here to Coppice, and Carl's got the preferable line through here. Stefan sniffing as well. Stefan's, yeah, absolutely interested, trying to get some of his toe and uh, get a foot in the door as well. Yeah, not often we see this picture, which is all four manufacturer, well, all four car types in one shot. It Stefan, just shows you, doesn't it? Yeah. How beautifully balanced everything is now. How I think over the seasons they've got this balance between the cars so beautifully right now because yes. it, it hasn't always been perfect. No, no, it's very close at the moment. Uh, Jay Corley here making his way through this little little bit of the field. Um, up at 11 places from the start. He may get more by the end of this. Fantastic driving. Yeah, it really is. Where did Anthony Hilton end up? In 24th after that pit stop. Still fighting with Fiona somewhat at the back of the field as two air smart racing cars going at it. Arno Chenonier <laughs> in the green and uh, Kylie in the white. The interesting thing, you know, about this, they've got, got the performance now so beautifully balanced, but the, all the cars have got a different feel. They've all got their absolutely separate identity and they all go about the business in a different way. Yep. Which is why they appeal to different drivers, of course. Different character, different... Uh, appreciation of a uh, of car's attributes and uh, yeah that's interesting so that is the whole of the uh, Spectre 6 team apart from Stephen Walker that have just pitted um, so well, Stephen's a master of driving on fresh air isn't he yeah he's the only solar powered car that we know of um, Spencer has come out of his pit stop ahead of Miguel but not by very much you can see it uh, there, it's 1.5 seconds, um, and we know that Miguel's very, very fast here. Um, Wobbly has floated up to third place and got past Pete Newman. I'll have to find that as well because that was recent. Here we go. Let's have a look at how Wobbly managed this. I think Pete Newman is going to go exit stage right and get a whole bag full of grass. Oh, we got a load of curb, is what he got. Uh, yeah. a wicked curb. So that's it's how that really was done. Wrong. And you can see how people have picked up so many incident points. It's so easy to get them around here. Even the furniture wants to get you off the track. Yeah, those curbs are humongous. They really are. We've seen a lot of people bashing them, and it's not like you're trying to. I'll tell you but what. It used to be the, the, the wisdom was you could take the inside one, and then somebody told me it was now it's the outside one. Yes, yeah. Um, I, I tell you what, I bet Jay Corley's streaming this second race. Um, he, twi he streams on Twitch uh, and on YouTube, actually. I bet it's absolutely brilliant because he's, he's up 12 positions. Um, and every time I've looked at his car, it's been a bit like Pete Newman. He's just had traffic all around him. Um, and Pete Newman still with the traffic. He's uh, got Russell Cowell and Kevin Daniels in front of him now. Uh, this is the battle for eighth place. You can see that in the bottle ba uh, bottle, battle box. Oh, <laughs> bottle I'm, I'm going to have some beer. Um, <laughs> Pete, you're doing a fantastic job. But this is a busy night, and honestly, there's not a lot of time between breath for you, mate. You're doing a fantastic job here. Thank you. You are. This is a uh, there's an awful lot happening, and everybody's getting a good race. I'm loving it because no matter where you look, somebody's getting a good race. Yep, uh, Stephen Walker's just dropped into pit road. Oh, has he? Aha! And Pete Newman having to defend from Dan Mould here. Ah, uh, that's going to be a good scrap. Yeah, some very uh, talented racers just here, these two. Dan's got a good run out of Old Hairpin. Trying to squeeze it down the inside, but he's going to be on the wrong side for uh, McLean's at the top of the hill here. He's 
going to cut back. No. Oh, wow. Sailed Ooh. it. Sailed it. And Ooh. look at this. Some bleeds like a rat up a drain pipe. Get some both <laughs> in one corner. Who needs a bumper? Who needs a bumper? It's just more cooling, isn't it, really? Who needs downforce at the front? No one. Maybe he does. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh! Oh, bit of a hit check. Oh, oh run straight across the oh. front. Oh. Well, if he didn't have a bumper Goodness before, me. he certainly doesn't now. Heavens above. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how they all survived it, in inverted commas. Whoa, oh, Steve Walker. <laughs> Nearly collecting cars along the way. That's Pete Van Gool, again, in the thick of the, the action. And then Carl Hardy on the outside, Jay Corley falling back from these two by uh, going out, out on the extracurricular line. Tony Walker and Carl Hardy going at it very hard. Yes, Carl's uh, playing a blinder at the moment. He's doing a fine drive. Yeah. Seven minutes to Please. go. Is that all? Uh, yep. Where is Kevin Daniels? Oh, who's that? Stephen Walker passing Pete Van Gool, it is. Right then. I think the very front of this field is going to get very, very tasty right at the end of the race. And I'll explain why in a second once these guys have sorted themselves out going over the line. You would think that this was the start of the race. Look how bunched they are. I know. It's... But everybody's trying to win their, their division. Yeah. Everybody's absolutely eyeballs out from the get-go, aren't they? They are. So let's run through that, actually. Spencer McCarthy leads the race, but the gap is closing down. Uh, Miguel is chipping away at it. Probably not enough. Um, it started at a second and a half. It's down to one second-ish um, and keeps yo-yoing. Wobbly is 1.2 seconds behind Miguel and kind of holding that gap. Um, if we go back to where we are in terms of um, Pro-Am, Kevin Daniels, let's just do a bit of this. Kevin Daniels leads this one. Um, he's 1.6 seconds ahead of Russell. Um, who's got masses and masses of cars closing in on him. Look at this. Um, so it's, there's going to be points separation um, in a second. So that was a multi-21, because that's Stephen Walker from the sister team of Spectre 6. Uh, Pete Van Gool out in the weeds, just for a second, and Jamie Jeffrey. Uh, he's giving a flash there, he's not happy about some of Pete Van Gool. Uh, Jamie Jeffrey threw on him. Um, so Pete Van Gogh's the third one in Pro-Am. And then uh, where is David Ayres? He is the leader of the AM class. He is only 0.7 of a second ahead of uh, Arno Chenonier in second in, Pro in, in AM. Uh, and oh, Jason, crikey. Come on, chaps. <laughs> yeah. And Jason oh. is uh, not far behind that. So very close in each of the three fields, Alan. Very, very yeah, close. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I'm excited for the guys because it just means everybody's getting a really good race. Everybody's yeah. getting to race somebody. You know, Everybody's got somebody at their pace where they can really have a crack at it. But also, they're all good drivers. Yes. There's no mugs out there. Everybody can drive and, uh, yeah, it's been non-stop, hasn't it, this race. Everybody's had something. Goodness, it's just been absolutely... What's the word? Feverish. Frantic and feverish, yeah. So, Jamie Jeffrey is uh, eager to get past Russell Cowell. Uh, Russell's not going to want to give that away, though, because uh, that'll just mean that there's more cars between him and Kevin Daniels um, in that Pro-Am category. Oh. Jamie... Trying to get on the inside of uh, Russell here, and he's managed it going down through Craner Curves. Um, if he can stay on that right-hand side, which he's not able to, without washing out, he would have been oh, good for good. old Herpin. That was good driving by Russell. It was. Very, very calm and controlled. And look at PVG. Oh, he's getting his nose in. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm going to... 
switch back to here because Andrew Hilton and uh, uh, Jason Haddington are going at it now. And uh, look at that in front as well, David Ayres um, and Arno Shenonier. So there's battles all through the field with two and a half minutes to go. Well, that's, uh, Arno's got past David and that's uh, well driven by him. Oh, yeah. So Arno mm -hmm. takes the lead of AM. Let's see if I can get that on camera. Just a sec, I'm just trying to find it. Now oh, this was um, a later exercise. I haven't got that pass, you know. Um, no. Oh. oh no, I have. Sorry, I was choosing oh, the wrong there one. Go. There. Ah. There we go. So they were side by side out of the, the chicane. Yeah, I think he got slightly better exit from the chicane, didn't he? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that was that. Well, that was cleanly done. Yeah. Right, Carl Hardy. <clears throat> oh, that was Russell. Russell out oh, in the weeds. No. Oh. Oh, he's been driving so well. He, well, he, yeah. I don't know what's happened here. He's got, this is going up through Starkey's Bridge. He's going to be losing it in McLean's. Was uh, Jamie Jeffrey involved in this? Yes, oh. is the answer. So, just the slightest of touches, and that's all it took. Oh, I feel for Russell. Yeah. Very unfortunate. He's, he's lost quite a few positions there in his own... Uh, category as Miguel Freitas now is right on the back of uh, Spencer and this is the final lap so if he's going to do anything he needs to do it right now but he's trying that's for sure I don't think he's got enough track left no. Spen Spencer's got this done, I think, unless he really balls us up this chicane. This is the last chance. I don't think he's near enough. Oh, you never know with this boy. No, it's not going to work. There we go. Spencer takes the win. Wow. Miguel and Wobbly, second and third. Right, we're going to go back to this group because this is still going on. Jamie. Jamie Wilson. Come on. Oh, and that was Jamie Jeffrey to pit road. Has he got a penalty? Oh. He has. Now, it doesn't let you serve it, so I think he's going to get a position penalty on top of that. Right, so Arno Shinonier wow. and David Ayer still going at it right at the end here. Yeah, they won't give up. No, nor should they. No, indeed. Fantastic race. Looks to me like they've had a great time. David's thrilled. Look at that, you can tell. Anthony Hilton gets over the line in 23rd on his first race with us. Uh, first feature race with us, I should say. Uh, so, good result from him. Yes. Where is Roger Morton and Chris Dixon? Here they are. Is there going to be a decision made here? <laughs> 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 That's funny stuff. Uh, hilarious. Right, so. Wow. That's uh, that's some race, isn't it? That was some. That was. I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> right. Have we got the results? Yes, we do. So Spencer McCarthy won the feature race tonight. Takes the honours for Hydra Race Geodesic Racing. Um, Miguel Freitas finished second. Um, hardly anything behind in the end for Impulse Racing in second place. Uh, and Wobbly gets the bottom step of the podium uh, for BSTV Pink. Um, it was He was on the podium in the last race, wasn't he? I don't remember now. Uh, where am I? Uh, yes, he was. He was on the third step. So two third places for Wobbly. Uh, Sam Blees finished fourth for Hydra Race Geodesic Racing. Uh, Dan Mould finished 5th for SRL uh, Kevin Daniels finished 6th for DDK Racing and the first of the AM cars across the line 
Uh, Stephen Walker was seventh for Spectre six. Uh, just going to go up top here. Um, where was I? Uh, Pete Newman finished eighth for Result uh, Esports team with Pure Sims. Uh, Jamie Wilson, second uh, uh, Pro Am car across the line uh, for Team Chimera in ninth. Uh, tenth was Matt Elmore for Spectre six. Eleventh was Carl Hardy for Safeguard. And the uh, third of the Pro Am cars over the line. Um, Tony Walker finished 12th for Spectre 6 with Jay Corley in 13th for Result Clo Clothing iRacing Team. His teammate uh, Pete Van Gool finished in 14th, never away from traffic and action um, all night. Um, Russell Cowell finished 15th for Spectre 6, Stefan Goebel 16th for VTS Esports. 17th was Loic Penalt for Boots and VDS by Undercut and his teammate Remy Malaberti uh, was 18th behind him. Um, move this forward 19th was the first of our AM class cars Arno Shenonier uh, finished um, for Air Smart Racing there um, David Ayres finished in 20th second of tonight's AM cars across the line for Result Clothing Jason Haddington was 21st and uh, bottom step of the AM podium for Air Smart Racing 22nd was Anthony Hilton in his first race week with us for Mellow Motorsport uh, Fiona Siddons was 23rd for work guard. Jamie Jeffrey did take a huge amount of penalties um, in that last lap and has been um, positioned 24th, Alan, oh. for coupes and convertibles racing on incident points. Yeah, it's very oh. unfortunate for Jamie because, he's, you know, that wasn't respectable of his driving, really, no, was it? No, really wasn't. No, very sad. Um, I mean... He's, he's obviously picked up the, the incident points, tried to do his drive through, but it just doesn't let you. Uh, uh, JB finished 25th for BSTV Pink. Uh, Chris Dixon was 26th. I think JB's taken a penalty there as well. Um, Chris Dixon, 26th for work guard. Uh, Roger Morton, 27th for safeguard. Uh, Andrew Littler, 28th for work guard. Um, 29th was Mark Draper, classified. Um, and 30th it was Chris Needham classified uh, for Air Smart Racing. Right, so, wow. <clears throat> <laughs> Where do you start with that? I, I, that's, yeah, um, no idea is, is the answer. Um, what a dramatic and busy race that was. Uh, it really did feel like it was the, the start of the race at the end of the race because everybody was still together. Um, quite an, an exceptional um concept to be honest yes well normally we i mean we've, we normally get a bit of spread but yeah. i've noticed this season this is with the the new championship uh layout that's uh it, this has been much closer uh yes, we've, got the extra, yeah. we've got the extra drivers as well which gives us the chance to appreciate that mm. the way it's uh it's a uh, the way it works out on the on the track because um Everybody's so beautifully classified now. You see these big blocks of colour where everybody's running at the same pace. Then you get these bits of fluidity in between. But largely, I think everybody's absolutely plumbing the right place and they're racing the people that they should be. And uh, it's because of that we're getting these just incredibly intense battles, the length and breadth of the field. And uh, I don't think it's going to stop. Uh, no, no. Um, it's full on, really. Um Let's bring some people in for some interviews. Uh, we will start with our feature race, um, our feature race winner, Spencer McCarthy. Good evening. Good evening. Right, where did you uh, get placed in first race? You were fifth. Um, fifth. Yeah, um, it was a hard fought one, um, even for your um, your initial race tonight. In the sprint, uh, you had Jamie Jeffrey ahead of you. Pete Newman was giving you some grief behind you. Miguel um, got um, kind of pit manoeuvred off the track. He didn't get pit manoeuvred. He kind of got rammed by Dan, um, uh, and he got put behind you. Um, tell us about your first race first before we talk about the strategy and everything else that got you the victory in the feature race. So, f first thing, I just want to just want to throw something in the broadcast. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Did you um, push me up? I just gone back up. Just want to put that in there. Um, just fun. 
And I had a really blurry first race. I, I can't remember what happened because there was too much happening yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. I, I was kind of making one, well, two steps forward, one back, two steps forward, one back. It was the first couple of laps were not, not elbows out, but it was, you know, just trying to find a, um, a rhythm and, and get into the race, I suppose, when everyone else was also, also jostling. Because Collie around here, what, as, you, as you saw, obviously, on the broadcast, was super tight. Yeah. So you had, yeah. you had a real mix-up of people which I guess when it comes to the race, it kind of slightly pans out a bit. Not, you know, not, not because, you know, they're, they're really slower. It's just that, you know, I suppose it's a slight bit of consistency sometimes or something. So those, that one lap with a bit of toe really made a big difference around here. So mm. yeah, I, I managed, I think, I can't remember in qualifying, was it eighth uh, or, or, or seventh? I can't remember. Yeah, it wasn't great, was it? Um, I noticed that you were not in your usual place. Well, well, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I did. A, I did a bit of practice, not not too much, but you know, I, I came in here and like everyone else was like properly on it. So, yeah, you know, head down first couple of laps, try to get in the group, get in the rhythm, um, and then pick up places. I was lucky to pick up a couple of places. I think my girl, unfortunately, got um, uh, dived by Dan. I don't obviously it wasn't intentional. I think Dan was trying to get past Jamie Jeffrey and and then hit the back of my girl. Just then that was one space. Um, I had an unfortunate bit of net code. Um, with Matt, uh, Mark Draper um, going around um, oh, McLean's, right. um, which then he then sort of, we went in side by side and, he, you know, he, unfortunately there was some weird contact, side by side contact, you know, solid air, as you'd say, Pete. Yes. And he kind of spun off outside. Otherwise we were having a decent race. I was having a decent race with Mark at that point. Um, and then, yeah, once I, you know, got to that point and then I think Mr. Newman threw it away on the last lap, I think it was. He was. He did, yeah. He yep. pretty much yeah. gapped us because Miguel was all over me and we were holding we, we he then sort of drove away from us, but then he screwed up the chicane the next lap, the next time, and he, he then went on the yeah. girls coming out, which I got him. Yep. So that was another place. So, yeah, fifth was, was a lucky fifth, really, in the end for race no, one. No, don't do that to me. Don't do a Stephen Walker. No, oh, I, didn't, yeah. I don't think it was lucky. I think you had to, like you say, you had to be alert the whole race. It was yeah, yeah. Well, I picked the get go, wasn't it? Evans picked say. up what I could. Yeah, picked up what I could. And, it, and it's just, it was about being on it. You know, you, tonight was interesting. You, you I didn't worry about being literally on someone's boot lid, like 0.1 um, behind them, because sometimes you want to get a run coming through a corner. Yeah. But where everyone was so evenly paced, you could be 0.1 behind. So all they had to do was make a really tiny mistake, and that's it. You had that slightly bit of run. Mm -hmm. um, whereas normally you'd be like 0.3 back, and you'd want to get a run through. But yeah, no, it was it was good. Um, ha you know, ha ha I had some overtaking manoeuvres tonight, which was good. Yeah, you did. Um, like and then. Yeah, yeah, and that so that race one was a blur. I, I really want to watch that back. Actually, it's going to be good fun. Uh, um, I'll apologise now for the strobing of cameras because, uh, honestly, uh, the the whole field was fighting the whole field the entire race. <laughs> it was just a bit ridiculous for for camera work. Um, and yeah. then and then race two happened. So you started in um, like tenth or something, eleventh. Yeah, something like eleventh was it? Eleventh. Yeah, yeah. Um, with, with Miguel, Miguel, me, wasn't it? yeah, you you kind of shadowed oh, no, Miguel yeah, for yeah. quite a, quite a few overtakes, as it were. Yeah, he'd it overtake early them, on. You'd overtake them, and then you'd both yeah, move early, forward. Early on, I seemed to have decent grip in the car. I, I think with the hot attempts, I'd lucked in, and I think I was running slightly less camber than some people. Um, and I think that gave me a little bit more um, front end bite early on. And yeah, it just seemed to you could tell Miguel and the others were struggling to get in their grip grip in and, and I kinda had that little bit of a run. So I made the opportunity of getting past Miguel. I think it was around the outside going into a corner somewhere, which I'll you know, I'll take my own hat off for that one. Um <laughs> yeah. get getting past Miguel in that way, uh, that was yeah, I mean he's yeah. he could overtake as well, right? So yeah. that was a good little battle we had there. Um and then but I mean, the, the, the class of this field, right? I didn't get one off, or well, I didn't get one slow down tonight. And that's, right. you know, to me, that was that was critical, right? I mean, I was probably two tenths out on average slower than, say, Miguel or Wobbly or whatever. But I had to be literally only that all the time to get that result. <laughs> yeah. Like, we ca came out of the, the pits and literally they're there, right? And, they, and they're catching me because the early pit stop's fine, but you still have to get deal with some traffic. So you're always going to get slightly held up. Yes. Um, and I only had to get past a couple more cars to get into the lead. And I just, yeah, got my head down. Um, and that was it, really. Yeah, just really just try not to make mistakes, keep it consistent. Um, and it, it took everything to get that win. So I'm very happy. Excellent stuff.
Fantastic. Um, yeah. I haven't even looked at where we are next week. It was a fantastic, uh, enjoyable race for us to watch. But, you know, it was just a, a magnificent. Everybody was full on the whole thing and everybody was having great racing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was a pleasure to sit and watch it, to be honest. It really was. Oh. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know how many. Did we have any weird incidents tonight? But I mean, for for such a tight field around a track that is very hard to overtake on, I don't. I didn't hear. There was a little bit of murmurs, I think, in the chat after the first race. But hopefully, there wasn't too many silly. Considering how fast and furious it was, really non-stop, there was very, very little yeah. of anything out of order at all. I, you know, it was amazingly clean, amazingly tight, and. Uh, as, as just as good as you could expect. That was as good as you could expect human beings to produce. Yeah, right. it, was, to that. it was pretty good. Uh, there were a few um, questionable ones knocking about. I think there'll be a couple okay. of upset people who just really need to just take a minute and think about it because it was super close racing. Um, yeah. You're right. That everybody was in, on such good form in terms of pace. Um, I don't know. It's It's... We saw quite a lot of racing incident, and really was racing incident. Uh, people yeah. just sharing that bit of the track with two different lines, not being able to fully see one another potentially, and and uh, you know off you go. Um, but hopefully they'll uh, think about it for a little while and uh, let it digest and and ruminate, um, and then they can uh, approach next week. And next week is going to be Zanvoort. Oh, okay. So that's going to be a bit of a, an interesting one because it's a totally different track to this. Um, lots and lots of uh, undulation uh, and quite dramatic uh, topography changes. Um, we have been there before, but I don't recall what. Haven't they changed the track? Uh, they've updated it. They've updated it, yes. They have updated it, yes. Yeah, so it'll be a visual pleasure uh, as well visual as. Visual pleasure, a, yeah. They've changed um, it slightly. The last corner is uh, that big loopy thing is slightly different now. There's, oh, right. there's some changes. Oh, there's the, was it the one, two, three? Fourth corner, yeah, that left hand a banked corner. Yes. yes, I think that's different. Yeah, that's a different one as well. Originally. Yeah, no, no, there are changes. It's still, it's still the same, but they ch they change bits of it. It's kind yeah. of changed the edges of it, but the the basic bones of the course are still the same. All right. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Yeah, be interesting that'd, be, that. that'd be nice. Uh, anybody you want to shout out to before we let you go and celebrate your victory and start practicing for Zandvoort? Um, yeah, mainly you guys. Um, yeah, thanks very much for for yeah putting hosting and putting all this on um it's it's i think it's grown into something amazing um and that wouldn't have happened without you know you guys steering the ship and and giving the fun bits to it all i think it's that that keeps it fun mm -hmm. um and you you know apart from when we have such busy races and you forget you know the who finished and where they finished and <laughs> the checker yeah. flag actually yeah. comes out at the end of a race i don't i, I don't know if you you know that yet um, no i haven't but... figured that out is that what happened yeah, it does normally happen at the end of a race. Um, we don't just slow down for nothing. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I just thought you got um, tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but also, like, you guys just, yeah, you, you, you put on a brilliant show, and we all love watching it back afterwards, as I'm sure, as other people. I think there's there's more viewers coming, I think, nowadays, which is great. There is, yeah. Um, yeah. And you deserve it. So, yeah, really good. Right, okay. So, and that um, yeah, that is nice. Thanks for the kind words. Uh, and we'll let you go and start your practice. And... Uh, Start your speeches for all all the chats that you're going to be now uh, invited to for your for your fame of winning a race here at Donington in the TCR Challenge Cup. Spencer McCarthy, everybody. Please wait, mate. We're racing. Yay! <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 funny, right? Um, uh, oh, right. Well, we should get um, the uh, where's the where's the live booth? There it is. We'll get the other race winner in now. Um, so Sam Blaze, good good evening. Good evening. Hang on, oh, this is it. You see, geodesic. Hello. There we go. Yep. Yeah, oh, comes, yeah. Here comes uh, the geodesic team winning everything again. Um, so race one was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looked it. You won by what does that say? Three point six seconds uh, over Dan yeah. Mould. Um, I think I think Dan did you a favour in that race, though, don't don't you? Yeah, he did a little bit. I um. He, yeah, he did rather murder Miguel, which helped. Yes. Yeah, uh, Taggart came um, onto, the, onto the show and, and said, <laughs> yeah. there, there's been a murder. <laughs> there, there, there was indeed a bit of a murder. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that, that made my life a bit easier. 
And but I didn't have enough fuel, so I was what? fuel saving a little bit. I, I went for twenty four, and I needed twenty five really, so I had zero point two over the line with saving all race. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was fine. The car felt really good. I had a really good pace, and and yeah, I, I was feeling comfortable, and I was just able to not cruise, but just hit the fuel number, keep the pace okay, and know that I had a bit of a gap there after that first couple of laps. After I did an entire lap side by side with Miguel. Yes. Please yeah, tell me you saw class. that. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, fun. Yeah, we got that. Um, there was a lot of that going on, though. Um, yeah, there was. <laughs> uh, we had two by two, about three cars deep at one point. Um, it was just ridiculous. <laughs> uh, everybody seemed to be very, very similarly paced. The, the, there was no massive broad spectrum of times. Um, I think there was only about two seconds that separated most of the field. Um, well, we had 22 cars within eight tenths in qualifying, <laughs> which is just yeah. ridiculous. Oh, uh, dear. Um, absolutely. I think you should practice more, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah <laughs> definitely. Um, it's going to certainly change the standings because obviously Spence is scoring heavily uh, when, when he was already at the top of the table. Um, he, he got a fifth in the first one, you got a first and a fourth. Um, you've done very similarly tonight, points wise. Um, it depends yep. on the incident points, obviously. But we saw you lose a bumper just before you entered um, the old hairpin in that second race. But all we got of it was your front bumper. That was it. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was from the hairpin. No, it was from the chicane on the lap before. Oh. Um, Pete Newman got tang not tangled. So there was some blue flag cars in front. Yeah. And Pete Newman got held up and there was space around the outside and then there wasn't again. So I went into the back outside of him and cost a, and lost a bunch of time. And basically that broke the bumper and then it uh, fell off coming down the crane is just into the old hairpin. Because uh, I was um, digging around and, trying to find a replay of it. I was like, how has he yeah. lost that? <laughs> well, I didn't, I didn't, I was saying to the guys like, because that was the first time I'd been off the track. I had zero X up to that point. And I was like, this car just hasn't come back to me after I dirtied the tyres or after I overheated them or after I had that nudge. And I couldn't explain it. I just could I just lost like maybe two tenths of pace. I'd gone from eleven twos to like eleven fours, eleven fives. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh maybe oh. you know, maybe it's the track temps crept up. I just haven't got the pace. And then the second I got into the replay, I was like, Oh, I had no front arrow. Yeah, no, <laughs> that will be why. Um so yeah, it was just, you know, no one's fault. It was just uh um, Pete got Pete was slow out of the chicane mm -hmm. because of the the cars in front of him, and I ran into the back of him because he, he, he there was a gap very briefly, and then there wasn't by the time I tried to go through it. Yeah, um, we saw but yeah, that, it's we saw that a few a few times throughout the whole field. To be honest, uh, at the yeah. chicane, it seemed to be a popular venue for uh, that. Is where it happened. Yeah, 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 um, and other people getting. Uh, punted out to the right hand side and into the wall. We had a couple of retirements for that one, um, but that's that's Donington. Um, uh, you know, you, yeah. you race it at your own risk, especially when you're in in this company with such fast racers. It's not like you can tootle round here, is it? You've got to put your foot oh. down. Um, no, it was flat out all the way. <laughs> yeah, it was hard work. <laughs> uh, you are uh, you're not at the top of the standings. Um, you've had a couple of rough rough rides so far this season. Where are you? Uh, you are. I, I've had fifth. I've had a. Dodgy race one and then one race two in all the three in all the previous rounds and then right. I've done the reverse this time. Yes. <laughs> one race yeah. one and then a dodgy race two. Yeah. But not dodgy, but like it was looking like it was gonna be sixth or seventh until some other instance occurred. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um so I mean that should move you it might not move you anywhere actually. Uh no, it will move you up possibly um, beyond Pete Newman. Um Wobbly. It's headed in the right direction. I don't it think is, many yeah. people will have outscored me tonight. Spencer, maybe. Uh, will be similar. Much. Yeah, not by much. Yeah. Wobbly's done well. He's done two thirds, but I'm not going to tell him. Yeah. Um, no, I wouldn't. Definitely not. Um, Zanvoort next time. Um, it should be interesting. I don't think we've been there in these cars since the track changed. We were discussing it with Spencer. Uh, we found out that Sir Alan knows more about it than anybody else on the planet. Um, right. Which is good. So, if you want any tips on racing it, Alan's <laughs> your man. Isn't that right? Alan? <laughs> Only if you want to know how to race it poorly. <laughs> ah, right. <laughs> oh, if you do, the... I'm your man for that. Is that the caveat? Is it? Oh, right. Okay. Um, okay. Don't tell Spencer that, and hopefully he'll use your tip. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. Yeah. Inside. I've already offered them, you know, in, in, in oh, compassion okay. for you, Sam. Really. <laughs> oh, fair. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. 
Uh, but <laughs> anybody you want to uh, have a shout out to before we let you uh, go and start practice uh, for Zandvoort? Uh, I want to thank Miguel again for lap two on race one because that was brilliant. Being able to go side by side and knowing that I will have space and he will leave me a line, uh, it was excellent. We, you know, we swapped positions three or four times, always alongside. So mm-hmm. it's great, great to get racing like that. He was really unfortunate in race one, but he had yeah great pace in race two and a good result there. So uh, yeah, shout out to him. Um, you guys as always for uh, putting it on um, and and yeah giving us a broadcast to watch back. I want to apologise to Dan. It was I don't think it was really anyone's fault, but it messed his race up a bit more than it race, messed mine up. We had a bit of a coming together on the way into the chicane. Uh, uh, bit no, sort of neck that. Cody. That, yeah. yeah, bit sort of neck Cody and cars getting glued, but yeah, it cost him some time and um, cost me some time as well, but him a bit more than me, uh, which was a shame. But yeah, uh, other than that, really good racing tonight. Really enjoyed myself. Um, it's a it's a tight track. It's a short track to have thirty cars on. So I know there were some incidents. There was always going to be, but it was uh, yeah, good fun to be involved in. And on to the next one. Yeah, well said. Um, and we look forward to it. Our current reigning champion, uh, Sam Blees, Everybody, thank you guys. See you next week. How are you doing, Sam? Cool, right. Um, who are we going to bring in next? Um, I don't mind, sweetie. You, d- you press your button. It's a uh, uh, pleasure to talk to any of these people. Yeah, let's get... Uh, yeah, we'll go for Miguel next because he finished second in that one. Uh, right, where is he? There he is. Let's bring in uh, previous champion, uh, Miguel Freitas. Good evening. Good evening. Um, yes. So... Um, you were doing fantastically well in the first of tonight's races uh, until you got missiled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but you didn't get, you didn't lose that many places um, after it all panned out. You fought your way back pretty well. Got a seventh place out of the first race. Um, and then we saw your true pace, uh, if you want to term it that. Let me get you on the screen because I've forgotten to click you. There you go. Um, in the second of tonight's races, um, a great strategy, pitting early, uh, got yourself um, out in front of everybody apart from that pesky Spencer. Uh, but even by the end of the race, I think you were only like 0.4 behind him. You, you shaved off a second uh, in about four or five laps, uh, which is an impressive feat. Um, talk us through your races. You might want to not talk about the uh, incident in the first race without swearing. Um, <laughs> uh, talk us through it. Yeah, so yeah, race one was had a great start. Uh, uh, I was fighting with Sam and we did, I, I think, a full lap side by side on this track, which is something crazy. Yeah, uh, it was really fun. But yeah, then when Dan sent it, uh, I wasn't looking at the mirror. I got really scared <laughs> with all of the noise because I was not expecting it at all. But yeah, uh, it happens. He said sorry. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> We could have done yeah. more, but yeah, luckily no damage. I don't know how. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. How can you not have damage? He, he clouted you good enough. Um, and yeah, second race, um, made your way through in good order. Yeah. Um, absolutely shadowed um, by, um, I think, Pete, who was it? Spencer. Um, yeah. <clears throat> where you overtook, he overtook a couple of corners later. Uh, you both kind of moved forward between packs of cars um, and you elected to pit a bit earlier. Well, a lot earlier than Spencer, yeah. that's for sure. Um, Spencer was nearly pushing his car into the pit lane. Um, but that strategy seemed to work very well for you because you, you leapfrogged whoever was in that, that next portion uh, of overtakes and there was only Spencer to go after and you nearly did that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Race 2 was really hard. Uh I got a really good lap in quali, and that put me at the front of the field. But uh, all, all the races I did this week, I, I I didn't quite have the pace with the the faster guys, so I I couldn't overtake. I was just <laughs> <laughs> trying trying my best, but I just couldn't make the moves. So yeah, as soon as the the pit window opened, I I took it yeah. uh, immediately. It worked pretty well because pretty much everyone that was behind me pitted as well, or soon after yeah, it was soon on me of cars <laughs> in the pits 
Yeah, so so I didn't lose positions, and yeah, as it is so hard to to make moves here, uh, no one managed to get by. Pete mm -hmm. Newman was really was faster than me after the pit stops, but uh, he couldn't make the move. I was making mistakes like every two corners, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I was just defending in the middle of the track, and that's it uh, around here. Yeah, but yeah, then then Spencer did an amazing job. He was making the moves he pitted very late and yeah he just managed to the pace for for me to not get him yeah i mean i thought you're gonna have to get pete newman surgically removed from the back of your car because uh, he was following you for so many laps um he followed you into the pit road or no you followed him in didn't you and then no no he was out. behind me oh, was he behind, behind you? right okay um so yeah i think you spent most of the second race with pete newman in your mirror um i think if you probably look at your monitor his car is burnt into uh, <laughs> the pixels on your screen um but what fantastic racing uh, we saw um the 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 drive through the field that you and spencer seem to do so effortless effortlessly <clears throat> um demonstrated very clearly by the pair of you tonight um but yeah uh, a great return to form for you um it's a zandvoort next time um and it's on the the new um, mapped version, the the um, slightly adjusted version of Zandvoort. Um, have you raced there in this car since it's been changed? Yes, Zandvoort was always my, one of my favorite tracks, and mm. now it's even more with the new layout. Uh, so, okay. yeah, looking forward for it. Good stuff. And I think, and I think, I, I don't want to be too optimistic, but I think it matches pretty well the Honda, so it should be good for me. Right. Okay. We'll look forward Fantastic. to that then. That's going to be great. Certainly will, because I love that place. It's, it's a great racing circuit. It makes uh, makes people race hard. And uh, yeah. Well, that's something to look forward to. If you're fancying your chances and and uh, the Honda, hmm. Well, yeah. Been yeah. Well, really the really Honda's forward. been driving well. I've seen a lot of people getting uh, doing well in the Honda at the moment. So yeah, exciting times. Very. Um, anybody you want to shout out to before we let you go? Yes, yeah, Spencer. It was crazy fast today. Sam as well. Really nice racing on the race one. And yeah, every uh, every other car that I had a fight today, which were quite a few, uh, was awesome from everyone. Besides then, of course. Of course, yeah, <laughs> yeah too right. Um, well, in that case, we will look forward to seeing you performing just as well, uh, if not better, at Zandvoort. Uh, previous champion... Um, and uh, looking to be right up there again this season. Miguel Freitas, everybody. See you. Oh, mm. yeah, Why is it about the Civic at the moment? I don't know. I don't know. It was the Audi at the beginning of the season. Now it seems to be the Civic um, showing its form. Um, and if it's going to be fast at Zandvoort, then that's going to continue. Um, next into the booth, we shall bring in um, the one of the other fastest... Um, uh, oh. Honda racers, Dan Mould. Good evening. Good evening. I think you. I think you've gained yourself a reputation for killing Portuguese people off tracks. Well, has it happened before? <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, you are definitely the first. Um, uh, it was a bit of a feature of the first race. Um, where did your pace come from tonight? How, how how were you that fast tonight? Is this just a track that you know so well that you were able to like zip laps from everywhere? I'm only a 6k Donny racer. <laughs> Is that it? Just <laughs> on Donny. Yeah. Just yeah. on Donny. I just gain all my IR from Donington. I wait for it to come around <laughs> every season and I just nail it every yeah. season. Yeah. Milk, uh, it. Milk uh, it for some IR. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Funny stuff. That's, that's where it comes from. Well, that was <laughs> well, that was a... great because it's the perfect track to do that on. Of course, I, I can say. Yeah. yeah. Difficult to overtake round here. We've, we've had a few people uh, say that. Uh, not so much from your perspective. You were uh, picking them up and putting them down behind you quite quickly. Um, is just it, just is, shunt them off. Just shunt them off. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miguel said that you, you have said uh, oops about that one, um, and that's fair enough. Uh, these things do happen. It did look on the broadcast like you'd sent it from about a week back, <laughs> and it, it, you were definitely trying to get Jamie Jeffrey, which you did, in all fairness. Um and then race two, um, you, you got into, I mean, you were nine places up from your start position, which is impressive. Um, there was only Wobbly and Spencer that had passed more cars and moved forward more. Um, 
uh, very stylish um, speed and overtaking. Um, is it just familiarity with the track? Is it um, familiarity with this Honda? Uh, we see you've switched from the Veloster, so um, what what'd you put it down to? It, it's uh, Donington is a track that I've got confidence and abundance around there. Um, so yeah, I, I know. Well, I, I I thought I know where I can push it and where I can break and overtake, <laughs> but obviously I'll have to readdress that one. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I've got massive amounts of confidence round here. Uh, I've just signed up for the next official uh, as it speaks, as I speak. So. Oh, right. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, um, it is one of my favourite tracks, one of my favourite tracks. So I, I always tend to do well here. And I have got a pretty good setup for the Honda around here. Um, not necessarily anywhere else, but I'll stick with it now. I have been using it quite a lot recently in the fixed and in the open on the officials. So right, okay, cool. We'll see how it goes, yeah, um, yeah. It's just I just love Donny. It's a local track, and uh, it's just it's just one of my favourites. And I, I think if if you had confidence, as I've got around Donny at every track, you'd be quick because confidence, you know, it, it can it can probably give you a few tenths easily. Yeah, um, yeah. Absolutely. Regarding agree. regarding Miguel, it was a, a, before I even sent it. I, I said to myself, "Don't send it." And then the guy on the left shoulder said, "Do send it." And then the guy on the right shoulder said, "I told you, don't send it." And then I, yeah, I was I wasn't very happy with myself after. To be fair, um, I have apologised to him. So yeah, yeah, I'll take whatever comes for that one. No, he yeah. took that in very good part. He's a total gentleman. And yeah, yeah, he is, you know, yeah. It, it, yeah, there was nothing. It, you know. These things happen here, and it was the what a race it was, heaven's sake. It was a good race to be a part of. Um, even I had contact with Sam Blees and uh, towards the end of race two, where I came off track. But you know, even even that, I got back on on pace. I caught up to Pete, and you know, we mm. had a good battle. But the battling that me and Pete and Sam had, you know, door to door, side by side, getting around some of some of the quick quick corners. Ah, oh, that's why we do it, isn't it? You know, yeah, absolutely. It doesn't really, what, doesn't yeah. really matter where you finish. If you have a race like that, it doesn't really matter where you finish. Yeah. No, you're yeah. going to finish with a massive grin on your face, aren't you? Yeah, um, exactly. Did, did a shameless plug for SRL. We, we know that the free races are all fully populated now. Uh, when do you plan on starting the uh, TCR League? Like just proper? announced it. We've just it's oh. just been announced tonight in our in our oh. Discord. Oh, well, get, get um, plugging then. Yeah. Um, all, all the information is in the Discord, and the channel's all open now. You can see the tracks. I'll give you a quick glimpse of what the tracks are quickly. I'm going to have to be quick now because this is getting live for oh, a second. Right, okay. Uh, it is. We've got Motegi, Verlante, Mid Ohio, Detroit, Mijalo, Hockenheim, Branzach, and Donington Ooh, is right. the final one. Uh, it's costing, it's £8 to enter, it's 50p a round. Um, we are going to put all the money back into the league, trophies, etc., pay for the commentary. Yeah, it's just a. As you said, it's a league like yours, a league where as long as you have fun and good racing, that's all that matters. Yeah, so. yeah. and it's Friday nights, yeah? Friday nights, yeah. It starts at, oh, I think it's half past eight. Practice starts or eight o'clock. And then I think we start qualifying at half night, half nine. It's always been the late, the late, late Friday league, shall we yeah, call yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> no, cool. Yeah. Well said. Right. All right. We'll let you get going because you're going to be uh, going live very shortly. Um, yeah. And we'll see you next time. Dan Mould, everybody. Cheers, chaps. Bye-bye. Bye. Cheers, cheers. Cool. Uh, right, nice one. Next is going to be... Oh, do we have to? Um, it's wobbly. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, so, uh, two third places, uh, and that's the end of the interview. Skip track, yeah. shit car, <laughs> no want to drive it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> thought you were going to be fast tonight. Um, yeah, there was um, the, the first practice I did. I, and I, I, and by the way, I need to record this apparently because apparently it's a thing if you do a good lap that you record it. Oh, okay. I, I really? didn't realize that, but no. yeah, I didn't realize that, but it's apparently no. Oh, uh, at, but no, I, so like in the first practice, I uh, managed to get uh, a, the first offline practice, uh, a world record in the Audi. I was oh. like, oh, this car is great. Like, this is the <laughs> best thing I've ever driven. And like all the other test sessions, I put it up, couldn't get near it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's class. That's funny. Um, I mean, the, hey, the it was terrible. No, I had to actually. Um, I, I actually used the handbrake during the um, during the race to get the car to turn. Really? Yeah, on uh, the uphill. Um, I don't know. I got the old hairpin. You go yeah. left, left, and then you go right again uphill. Yeah. 
Yeah. Not the double one, but the one before that. Yeah. And I I had to put the car on the drift. So what, I, just to get I, it turned. I, yeah, to get it turned. So I slightly tapped it every time <laughs> to get it turned instead of the normal <laughs> brake. Well, I never. I don't think I've ever known anybody handbrake their way around McLean's before. But there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's just. I mean, the, the car was just terrible, man. It was just. I, I'm. I didn't get the lap to get into quality because I got uh, obstructed a little bit uh, by something happening in front of me. Right. Otherwise, it would probably would have been like P3. I wouldn't have gotten pole, but P3, I think. Mm -hmm. But this, the car is just not suitable for this track, and the, right. this track should just be obliterated by something. <laughs> no, definitely not. Um, uh, next time, then, is Zandvoort. Yeah, so, uh, you know, all the you UK drivers are good at UK tracks, but you have like 20,000 UK tracks? Yes, we do. I'm I'm really good at at the one track <laughs> the we one have. Dutch track. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, well, that should that should play into your wheelhouse then. Um, yeah, I mean, the, no, the, the Audi is just I I keep complaining about it because it's just it is drivable, but like every lap has to be a push lap. It's hard to save, and I did manage to save a little bit. Um, that's why I uh, got in front of Jamie. Ah, uh, okay. Right, um, but um, yeah, it's just a hard car to get around on this. On, on I mean, I I don't like as I said last week. I don't like Dunnington. I actually did put in the practice, uh, just because I don't like it. I figured that I if, if I have to salvage something, I should probably just uh, yeah, well, um, that, yeah, uh, train the track and just drive it and learn it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And I still didn't enjoy it. And um, I think three, two third places. I think probably Sam outscored me, but. I'd probably be a close second with Spencer somewhere. Yeah, I would, I would so, say so, yeah. So I, I, I think that Spencer is still probably leading the championship. And I, I, I'm gonna, I think I closed up a little bit. But then again, he did have the uh, leading lap. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's and, touch and go. And round here, incident points. I yeah, I only had two. Oh, right. on, okay. I only had two on, yeah, I, I had more on the second, but two on the first race. Yeah. And I got seven or eight on the second race but it was only because uh i got hit in the rear once and right and i got a one x because of spencer hitting me <laughs> and he didn't went off track but i still got the one x uh well yeah that's what happens yeah it's free, I, I free, guess free donation to your free, freedom box. of speech i guess <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, i'm looking at some of the uh, the off tracks and incident points and uh, some people got around about one bazillion uh, it was actually quite manageable <laughs> if you just be, if you just, just stay through your old hairpin, then it was fine. Right. Okay. Well, um, you're on home tarmac next time round, um, so hopefully you are you are racing that and not running around Holland, you know, because that's what you do, isn't it? Just run around um, ran randomly. Well, there's actually there, there was actually a race recently where you could run around the track for uh, two times or something like that. And, uh, oh, right. But I, yeah, I didn't go because it's uh, like a million kilometers from my home. <laughs> right, fair enough. <laughs> uh, dear. Um, anybody you want to shout out to before we let you go and celebrate your two third places, both podiums, obviously, um, and uh, get prepared for Zandvoort? I don't need to prepare for Zandvoort. It's oh. just, no, no, no. Like, if you're a guy and you live in the Netherlands and you like driving cars, you get born and then you know the track. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's genetically into it's, your yeah. being, right? Okay. It's like an extra string of DNA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but right. anyway, uh, uh, Sir Alan, for being uh, being here, not you, Pete. No, because you ditched me on Isle of Loose on Monday because you're not that good, and we won the war after that. So yeah, what? Oh, I don't want to. Yeah, Damn obviously. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, everybody for turning up. Good to see that we still got new sign up. Uh, now I want to say this from the top of my head. It's probably Anthony yes, who signed yeah. up. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So good to see uh, another sign up. And um, if you haven't already and you're still looking uh, watching the broadcast, then definitely sign up. It's it's a hell of a fun. Obviously there are some incidents here and there, but that's fine. That's racing. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that um, in general it's been with the large grid we have. Um, it's been quite sophisticated and quite nice to each other, yes. except for one discussion yes. between two guys. But yeah, I mean, it's fine. It happens. Yeah, they'll, uh, they'll, yeah. they'll take some time, take some deep breaths. Yeah, I mean, you sleep and you're like, oh, well, it's a game. It's not a game. It's not, no, a, game. Uh, it's a, game. It's not a game. No, <laughs> no, no, no but it's fine. And yeah, I think that, that everybody is doing a really good job um, getting themselves through the field with as uh, few incidents as we can. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, a shout out to all the drivers standing up and Stephen Walker for driving side by side with me like six laps in a yes. row. Yeah, that was good. We we watched quite a lot of that. Uh, yeah, not as much as we'd have liked to probably because there was all sorts going on all <laughs> through the field. Oh, oh one, one, one particular shout out, by the way, to JB because he messed up. He was so proud of his new steering wheel. Tr tried oh, to tell right. us that he, he would try to tell us that he had managed to get in the right pit stall, and then he, he thought that he pressed the radio button, but he remapped his buttons on his new wheel, no. and it was the oh. pit limiter. So he had a speeding penalty. Oh, <laughs> oh man! Oh, JB. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I but I, I, I told him. Twenty fifth. I told him, don't worry about the points. It's just if you have a good race, and I'm happy for the team. Yeah, that happens, yeah, absolutely. Happens to and, everyone uh, when they get a new wheel or pedals, doesn't it? Yeah. No, I'm I'm only, has got a new wheel. Uh, only boomers. Only it's boomers. It's <laughs> exciting to get a new wheel, though, isn't it? It's exciting to people like us. You know, getting a new wheel is a big deal. We spend a lot of time with these things in our hands. Yes, yeah, I think do. you got a P1 or something. Oh right, very nice. Yeah, yeah we should nice. ask uh, to send a picture. I haven't yeah. seen it yet. Yes, put one up in Discord. Yeah, I'll ask him. Cool. Right. Well, oh. we're gonna uh, kick you out of the interview room now because yeah, give me, now oh, I, I, I want the driver of the day vote. By the way, you can't what? keep ignoring me for being so super consistent. Yes, I can. It's dead okay. easy. But Alan can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't ignore you, sweetie. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Okay. Thanks a lot. Wobbly kneecaps. Thanks, Alan. Bye. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. So next into the booth. And, uh, oh, crikey. Hang on a minute. Yep, are we getting Kevin the... in? We are getting Yay. Kevin in. He's, he's, he's waited around. Um, yeah, good. I'm glad because we're on the top three. Nice. Yeah. And let's talk through his um, finishing positions. So... He was um, 12th overall, but third in class um, in the first of tonight's races behind Pete Van Gool and Carl Hardy. And then in the second of tonight's races, he was top of the class in sixth overall, uh, the first Pro-Am car home. Uh, Kevin Daniels, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, so, fine performance. That was fine drive. Yeah, I think uh, Davey is going to take um, all the... Uh, uh, success factor because he, I think he gave you a pep talk and that's what made the difference. <laughs> yeah, that was needed, <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, a, go a good pair of results though, uh, and, and in the second race, oh my god, sixth sixth place in this yeah. lot, in uh, this race phew, as well. Unreal, unreal. So Stephen Walker's behind you, Pete Newman's behind you, J uh, Jamie, Matt Elmore. Uh, he's too busy flashing his lights, so we know about him. Um, <laughs> some big names behind you in that race. Um, you're keeping that Belgian flag flying good and strong. Um, do, do you just get on really well with Donington, or is is it something else? Have you just twigged with the car? Uh, what is it? Uh, it was not with Donington because of the when I come here the first time, I was not on the pace at all till this night and. Uh, in qualification, suddenly it clicked, and, oh. and the race was going better and better. And yeah, I was telling you, it was, yeah. it's gonna be, uh, you know, a disaster here tonight. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, right, nothing like well, it. That, that was, yeah. <laughs> uh, to be honest, that was a really polished performance. Uh, you know, yeah. you, you were gaining on groups uh, yeah. that were in front of you and and fighting with people and and doing it in a, in a clean fashion. Um, did you have many incident points at the end of it? Because some people had loads. No, I think I have like one or two in the second race and also in the first race. So it was, yeah, not well, so much. I think that's nothing, is it? That's yeah. impressive. <laughs> very impressive. I'm, I'm very proud about myself about that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I get more than that going out of the pits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Funny. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, tell us about DDK racing um, and you know, how that's all come about. Because we, we, we've not spoken to you properly in, in an yeah. interview before. So tell yeah. us about DDK. Well, DDK is from uh, myself and Divi, D of course. And uh, yeah, it was like a couple of months back when I was with Sim Racing Grid, we were talking about it. And uh, yeah, Divi is, is my brother as well. So uh, yeah. he's doing eye racing for like three, four months, I think now. So um, yeah, 
just oh, uh, nice. making a team and uh, see where we will, what, where it will bring us. And uh, yeah, that's uh, I've been trying a little bit about the story about it. Yeah, I've been so, trying to attempt yeah. Davey to join this league, you know. Try yeah, to... me also, but he, he, he don't want, so. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it's great to have you in here. It looks very positive for your um, your overall standings in uh, the pro am class. I'm just gonna I hope so. It, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, fantastic pro-am. performance. I think tonight you've been so proud, and uh, yeah. and you should be proud of your brother because he comes in here every week and gives you yeah, yeah. Big support. Yeah, yeah, every week. Really nice, you know. Do really, yeah. really, really appreciate that. Yeah. So it's, you, uh, you were sixth. Um, coming into this, but you were only six points behind third place. Uh, I wow. think you may have just vaulted straight up that pro am standings um, and got yourself into third place. I'm not. I'm not certain of it, but I'm pretty sure you've done um, mm. a remarkable job tonight. Um, we go to Zandvoort next, not too far from uh, where you are in Belgium. Um, nope. Is it a track that you're already very familiar with, or is that going to take some serious practice to keep on pace? Well, I I'm not going to be here uh, next week because oh. I will uh, leave the country. I go on vacation, uh, so yeah, it will be oh. on Wednesday that I leave. So yeah, oh. but then for for me, yeah, it, it's, it's a bummer because I I love it. I I win there. I I won there a lot uh, in i racing. Oh. So oh. yeah. Okay. Oh, that's was... unfortunate for you, lad. I'm sorry for nah. you. But, uh, you'll miss it, yes. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, so. Still, vacation, not so bad. <laughs> yeah. No, not at all. I, I can't, Alan, I can't believe he's not taking his rig with him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Andy, he's got one. He's yeah. got a traveling rig. Maybe, maybe I, I need to ask Davy. Uh, maybe he need to drive. Yeah. Yes. yes. Well, that would so, be. He'd uh, be very welcome, I'm sure. Yeah, very. Um, but what a what a great night's racing! Uh, right in the thick of the action. Very impressive. Uh, anybody you want to shout out to before we let you go? Uh, yeah, definitely. I want to give a shout out to Davy because he's always there. He's always on the phone with me and stuff. We are talking a lot about and uh, yeah, trying to to let it work this team and uh, let, yeah, what it will take. And uh, and also my wife, uh, she was watching this night. Maybe it was oh. that that I won. So oh, yeah. Uh, what's, what's, yeah. What's her name? Uh, it's Avi. Avi, right? Okay. In yeah. that case, we'll look forward to seeing her comments on the chat in future ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will uh, ask. Yeah, yes, definitely. family, family show. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So great to have her watching as well, um, and great to have you in our league, Kevin. Um, it's it's Thank absolutely you. fantastic for you, for you to be here with us, uh, and such so, such a, a rising talent. Um, we shall uh, look forward to seeing you. Oh, what will it be? Where, where will you be racing with us next? If you're not mm, here, think Charlotte. Uh, no, yeah. It is Ooh, Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte. Charlotte. Yeah, Rome. Ooh. Yeah, I hope I will one. make that one because I I come back on that Wednesday also. So, uh, okay. but normally I can't right. make it. So. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, well, fingers crossed for you on that one then, matey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, fantastic for you to be in our leagues, and we look forward to the next time you race with us, Kevin Daniels. Everybody. Thank you, everyone. Bye yeah, bye. You're good. Right, that then. was nice. He did very well, didn't he? He's, yeah, he's nice chat. Been, uh, nice chat. been uh, doing, doing himself proud, him and his team, and it's been very nice to have the input from his brother. Yeah, and great to hear that you know his wife's watched as well. So um, yeah, it, you know all all the support that we can uh, generate from all these guys. Um, it's about the community, isn't it? Um, you know, wives and and husbands and you know family members and friends, are all part of the exercise, all part of the you know the fun. Um, and back from uh, banging her drum for Sheffield Steelers is in her usual so- spot. Even Fiona Siddons. Good evening. Good evening. I'll good evening, start, Pete. Start, good evening, Alan. I'll start off. I agree with Wobbly, and I disagree with Wobbly. Oh right. right. Okay. I, I, I agree. <clears throat> Anthony Elton should stick around. He, yeah. Great. It's great to have a battle with him. He was nice and clean. But I disagree that he's driver of the meeting i should be <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. um you were you were having some good battles tonight that was um good hard racing um in the first race you did um i was commenting on where you finished and i can't remember what i said now so i'm gonna go and find it um you finished quite high up the 22nd 
um, in a 30 car grid with some seriously big names behind it and they were still racing um, uh, oh, hang on I need to go back to my little uh, thingy here there we go um, and what was I going to say about this I had a, oh second in class second in class yeah. in that first race I, was, I wasn't 22nd you say oh second <laughs> yeah exactly um, and in the third of tonight uh, second in tonight's races you were uh, so Arno and David is David in yours yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. So you, I think you were fifth in class, um, yeah. and and the and the new boy Anthony, uh, just in front of you, and only just in front of you as well. Yeah. Uh, after the pit stop, <clears throat> we had a good good battle for mm -hmm. a couple of laps, and then I made a couple of mistakes and dropped back, and spent the rest of the race just inching slowly onto the back of him again, but run out of time. Well, um, it's all. You know, it's all about how much you're enjoying it, and I, I can tell from the tone of your voice that you you enjoyed that. Uh, you've had a few weeks um, sat out because we had week 13, um, and then you were following your, your beloved hockey team um, for the last two rounds. Um, it's the end of the ice hockey season, isn't it? But Alan tells me that you, you're, you're threatening to uh, go on tour with them uh, to wherever they've got an, a, a continental cup to be playing for. Yeah, definitely, I'd Definitely going to go to one game away in Europe, just to say I've been. Mm, yeah, absolutely. But uh, that won't be until September next year anyway. So oh, right, okay. Or this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the next season of, uh, of hockey. Yeah. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> any standout moments for you tonight while you were racing? <laughs> the all night. Uh, <laughs> the, I was surprised myself. Roger commented during race one saying how consistent my laps was mm. and after we finished I looked on the laps at the end of it it was like 12-7, 12-6, 12-7 12-5, 12-6 yeah yeah that's and, good going that way yeah and I think race two was about the same as well wow um, and that's you know that's when you, you've found your form as it were isn't it when you, you, yeah. you're knocking off laps yeah. you know tenths or so separate from one another. Uh, yeah. I was very impressed tonight. Um, yeah. you, you kept it on the tarmac where others couldn't. Um, you kept, you were very competitive and you knew where to put your car. Clearly, you know this track very well. Um, even when the, the faster guys were coming through, um, you, you were um, still giving them a decent race um, and it was fair and it was clean. So uh, loads of respect to you for that. Um, do you think uh, Zandvoort will uh, give you the... Uh, the same sort of treatment? Time will tell. <laughs> Time, Time will tell. tell. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting to go so well tonight with not being in the car for a, about a month. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, okay. Well, um, for, from my eye, it was very impressive. What about you, Alan? Well, yeah, no, I know. I just think everybody's benefited, especially at the bottom end of the field, from the uh, having something to race for. This mm, arm and the yeah. pro arm uh, divisions made such a difference, and uh, it encouraged everybody to have a real bash. And yeah, please, please doing well tonight. And uh, she she drove well last night, so a bit of form, I think, at the moment, Gal. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's, I have to say, Pete, the doing the three classes, it's really improved the racing. I think seems to have. Yeah, uh, sometimes you. Um, you can lose the the overall. Uh, what am I looking for? Like atmosphere of winning the the overall championship, but I don't think yeah. that's happened. I, I think it, it we've maintained that by having the championship still there and still open, uh, but giving everybody some uh, something to race for and 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 the c certificates to win now with giant stickers on them. Uh, didn't realise that they were giant stickers when I bought them, but um, that's a different story, you know. You know, you know sometimes tends. Oh, well, to... you know, the other thing about that is with it, with this uh, classification, when somebody's had a really outstanding night and they've popped up out of their spec and they're they're like two or three places up in the, the other league, mm. it really you, you can really spot a really great performance. Yes, it really makes it easy to see somebody like Loic, you know, doing a fantastic drive and. 
popping up, you know, three or four places out of their out of their league and in next doors. So yeah, I think it's fantastic. I do really think it's it's worked out well. But we need the numbers to keep up to it for it to stay competitive and fun for everybody. Yeah, well, thirty cars. It's a it's a healthy league at the moment, and uh, we're attracting more um, with and you know people like Anthony. Uh, and the whole of the Boots and VDS by Undercut uh, team, the, the, the latest edition, really. Uh, and it's it's all feeling very positive at the moment. Yeah, no, I think the whole league is buzzling. It's just absolutely fantastic. Mm. Uh, yeah, people are having a good time, and uh, it's reflected in the whole vibe of the place. Yeah, and on the chat. There's loads more people on the chat these days, which is good. Uh, and that's part of the atmosphere. That's part of the community, like I said um, uh, briefly before. Um, anybody you want to shout out to, Fee, before we let you go and uh, probably start practicing for Zambor? Uh, you and Alan, as always, for doing the stream, everybody in the background that makes it worthwhile. And a special shout out to Anthony Hilton. Uh, really hope you come back, buddy. It was good racing with you. Yeah, well said, well said. Um, and factually correct as well, because he was having a... a a good time in that second race. Not sure what happened to him in the first one, but we'll find out at some point. Um, we shall look forward to seeing you racing, in that case, at Zandvoort next week. Fiona Siddons, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah. Good night, Pete. Right, so um, that leaves us with this uh, decision to make, Alan, um, at the end of these races. Oh, uh, nightmare. Nightmare. Um I would like... That's what I was feeling really good about life. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> um, Kevin Daniels, he had a very good uh, series of races for me tonight. Um, sadly, I have to admit, Wobbly did have... Um, he, you know, consistency you've got to give out a long list of fantastic people who all deserve to win it. Yeah, I know. I mean, there's so many. Yeah. Um, Pete Van Gool, he was... He had such close racing with so many people, and it was all clean as far as I could see. He's right up there for me. Um, uh, then you got Anthony Hilton, who in his first race week with us has done very, very well. Very competitive racing. Um, I, I, honestly, I think I was most entertained. It's not to do with results all the time, is it? Um, no. But I think Pete Van Gool's done it for me tonight. Um I saw him in so many battles, so close to people all the time. And as soon as I've switched to him, he's got nobody near him on the replay. Um, but I was wholly entertained by uh, Pete Van Gogh tonight, so he's getting my vote for that reason. All right, well, I think that's a good shout. And uh, I, I find it really difficult because uh, so many people have done a really good drive and it's been so fierce and so ultra-competitive. And... I quite like to give him further down the field, but you've done one a bit down the field, and really, I want to give it to Spencer because mm. I thought his drive was fantastic tonight coming through the field. It was just f full of skill and panache. Yeah. I... And uh, it's great to see him coming back into his what we think of as his natural place. Yeah. And uh, Rich is at the front of these races and demonstrating just how good he can be. And... Uh, yeah, I was, I was really pleased for him that he won that race, that second race. And uh, because he had to earn it, he had to get past Miguel, he had to get past all these people who were just amazing racers. And that takes some doing, and he did it with panache, skill, and aplomb. Well, so, very Spencer's well, getting mine. Yeah, and a well placed vote that is as well. Um, <clears throat> okay, uh, in that case, we shall bring this. Uh, week three of the TCR Challenge Cup uh, season 16 to a close uh, it's been a frenetic race um, it's been a wonderful experience um, thanks to everybody that's participated in the chat obviously thanks to the racers uh, thanks to those who viewed even if you didn't join the chat uh, and a special thanks to Alan for joining me in the booth yet again as always um, I shall bring the broadcast to a close let Alan say his uh, goodbyes and uh, uh, then I shall close the broadcast. So over to you, Alan. Yeah, I love it because he sits there and he waits with his finger above the button and I can say goodbye then he goes and presses the button and we get that big chord and, you know, the musician in me thrills at the moment. But <laughs> what, a di what a night we've had, folks, really. What an evening of racing. I, I can't remember when we uh, 
didn't actually have time to draw breath in a race, but this may be the first time it's ever happened because that was breathless stuff from start to finish tonight. So many good performances, such a good feeling about everything. It was a pleasure to be here and I uh, can't wait till next week because it's one of my, another one of my favourite tracks. See you in Zanford. Dot zines. We'll